No. Sorry, I needed a minute there. <laughs> oh. I uh, I ne I needed a I needed a second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna put this down. <laughs> For, just, for a second. <laughs> just went live because I was uh, going to assume you were in uh, cutscene hell. I'm good. Uh, yeah, I was, and uh, I need a. I need a. I need a. Uh, yeah. Emotional. Um, I need a minute. <laughs> that was a lot to take in all at once. <laughs> oh. oh. Big shit uh, happened. Yeah, big shit happened, so... <sighs> Oof. <sighs> uh, so you went live there, or...? Yep, I did, because I assumed you were gonna take a while. Okay, well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, yep, uh, mm -hmm. yep, that was, uh, yep. that was definitely a scene that I had just watched. Yep, that, 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 that was definitely a scene. That was definitely a scene. Uh, I don't know if you know what scene I'm talking about, but it was the scene in where it, it happens at the end of chapter three. Oh, yeah, that. It, that it, it, it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, as soon as I, I said that, uh, as soon as I muted myself, I yelled holy fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, really loud. <laughs> oh. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> uh, we're, we're playing Mario 64, Dean. Is, is me Mario? It's a Mario. It's, it's a Mario time. So, or is Morrow tomorrow? Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. <laughs> Mario hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Uh, so, how you doing there, Kate? Hope you're well tonight. I'm doing okay. I might knock out two things for you tonight, depending on how lazy I am. Cool. <laughs> yep. So we're just a uh, chill vibing tonight with some uh, with some Morrow sixty four. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. What made you wanna like? I wasn't here last week, but what made you wanna just play Mario sixty four? It's on my backlog. Just felt like it or something. Yeah. Pretty yeah, that makes. Uh, have you beaten Mario sixty four before? Yeah, but not in a very oh. long time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I only asked. I only asked that because uh, the time that I actually did manage to beat Mario sixty four was uh, last year, <laughs> and that was on the All Stars collection, I think. Yeah, that was in the All Star pack. I don't know if there's any differences between like the Switch Online version versus the All Star pack, but I assume it's generally the same. I would assume so too. Because I even had like some control adjustments for it. At, at least the man. Uh, the controls they use for the Switch version, I think, is uh, the same for the N64 version they have here. Still means the camera is uh, is a fight to behold, but still. I still don't like it. I don't blame you. That's why I always switch it to the Mario camera. I think I, I think there's like two levels in particular that made me hate the Mario camera, and or the Mario 64 camera. It would be, uh, this one for some reason, and, uh, Rainbow Cruise. Ow. Rainbow Cruise for fucking obvious reasons. Why can't we get the full camera like we can in the Bowser stages? Why can't uh, we be friends? Yeah, why can't we be friends, camera? Yeah, yeah I- it, hate the camera. Yeah, this fucking part is where I- I fucking hate the camera. I just go in Mario mode- Mario camera mode to- to do it. I just wanna jump on the- the- I just wanna jump on Plank. My best friend? My best friend, yeah. Plank. The only thing I don't like about the Mario camera, especially in this section, is, uh, the Mario camera zooms in right up your ass, so... 
if you happen to like tilt your camera in any way, shape, or form, it just pretty much just zooms out into like it zooms with you, and it's a little disorienting to me. No, yeah. Well, at least you're not like me, where you just fall and eat shit. <laughs> I, that happens to me a lot. Like that? Oh, never mind. Alright. Maybe I should have said something. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the camera. It blows. Oh, well, you got a full heal. Wa Remember, Mario is Aquaman. He just needs water, and then he feels fine. Water. That's how... It ...works. Yeah, well... Water fully heals you in Mario 64. <laughs> I don't think it does that in Sunshine. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> the reason why it does that is because your health bar is the same as your as your air bar. So Mario just for some reason after he just takes a dip in the water is like, oh man, I feel fine. Woohoo. <laughs> Mortally wounded? It's okay. Just take a dip in the water and Mario will feel fine. Yeah. But then he was demoted from the DCU, so he lost his Aquaman powers and found a different guy. There you go. That's that's how you're supposed to do it. I hate the spinning platform. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Oh. Just don't fuck up. You're good. Go. Yeah, yeah, I got it. <clears throat> 45. There you go. Morty. Morty. <laughs> Top of the town. So I think we talked about this yesterday, but you said that you're just going for the, uh, uh, just a standard 70. Yeah, I don't want to do any more. Ah, uh, okay. When I play Meyer 64, I play it one way, and it's the 100% way. Why? Because I don't know why, honestly. Because you're a masochist. I, I mean... Well, I prefer 100%ing this compared to Sunshine. Percent Sunshine than this. Sunshine is a pain in the ass to 100%. Isn't it like mostly because of the red coins and the little side quests, like where you can't use blood? There's a lot of bad missions in Sunshine, and there's also a lot of uh, uh, there's also just a lot of. Um, uh, missions that annoy the hell out of me, blue coins being one of them, and uh, 100 per 100 coin too. missions can go can go bite it. I I really hate the 100 coin missions in that game. 100 coin one? Yeah, the gathering 100 coins because you need 100 normal coins to get a star. I mean that's nothing new. It's like usual, like stuff. Oh but yeah, only... it's nothing new. But the thing is, only particular missions are optimal for the blue coins, and you can only complete 100 coin missions in certain episode missions, and the game does not tell you. Yep. That's what the I, downside. What I don't like about the blue coin missions in Mario Sunshine is that the the blue, they never specify like where is the best place you can get the majority of the blue coins. The rule of thumb for me is always follow mission 8, but because mission 8 is when often all of them are unlocked, but there's still like the one, two, maybe five blue coins that appear in like other missions exclusively. Why? Just because. You're a dick. Yeah. I don't know, whenever like folks go on the debate about like which is better, Buyer 64 versus Sunshine, I'm like... Galaxy. Okay. Yeah, Galaxy's way better. How about that? <laughs> Can I just cheat and say 3D World? <laughs> I like Odyssey. <laughs> I mean, 3D World is actually a good game. Especially the Switch one. Yeah, and Odyssey's really good, too. I'm still surprised I... I never beat it yet. Uh, yeah, I, I swear we gotta demote the guy's freaking name as uh, Mario Fanboy 15 at this point. <laughs> Doesn't even talk about Mario. Has he yeah. ever talked to- he talks more about Sonic than he does talk about Mario. There you go. Remember, Mario is Aqu- uh, Mario is Aquaman. This is how he gets his- uh, this is how he gets his health. 
It's a good thing he's not aquaphobic. Yep. Uh, that's Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, no. because he, he just disappears. Yeah, he dies. He existed because he's made out of paint. Yeah, he's made out of paint. That's kind of the general reason. The I think the lore reason or the implied reason is because since he was kind of created by Bowser Jr., he was made by he's made of paint. So uh, I just what? was making the joke. I thought was that a joke or was that actually legit? <laughs> I I now that I'm thinking of it, it kind of he does act like it's paint, but I never thought of Baby Bowser making him. Yeah, because uh, Baby Bowser is the one who brought uh, who brought Yoshi over. Like you have to get Yoshi from Baby Bowser. I thought he just randomly showed up after so many Chines missions. Yeah, he does. In which case, who's to say that he wasn't the one that created the Yoshi and brought him along just because he wanted a ride? <laughs> True. So I just kind of figured that Baby Bowser was the one that did it because if Yoshi's you know, lived on Isle Delfino, and, uh, well, they don't like water, and they're on an island. Something seems wrong there. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking of more of, like, he was a uh, passenger, they just cut out in cutscenes. So he could've came with Mario. That would like be some those, ironic shit, yeah. It would be like that that pet compartment in planes. He like oh. wasn't allowed. He wasn't allowed to be up top with the others. Mm hmm. So hey, uh, yeah, welcome to being uh, welcome to being part of the pet. Oh, no pets allowed <laughs> in Isle Delfino, apparently. They just chuck him out. I'm a chuckster, yuck. I'm a chuckster, oh, yuck. <laughs> Man, I am looking at my stream list, and there are a lot of people uh, streaming tonight. It seems even yeah. Cole is doing the uh, the Genshin Impact. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Here's me, Maro. Hey, congratulations! Yeah, You're halfway that's... there to the star. Hooray! Come on, get up on the platform. Get on the get on the sandwich. What? <laughs> sandwich. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Ah, qu ah, yes, I love Mario Bandicoot. <laughs> Okay, just take this slow. I like how they basically state that this is electrifying, but there's just like one Sparky that's just right there. Ow. No! You, you dick. Blame the Sparky. <laughs> I blame the camera. This camera stinks. It sucks ass. This is I stick with the Mario camera for mine. I don't trust that Locky 2. That Locky 2 is uh, is secretly working for Bowser, and he knows it. Probably that's why it sucks with the camera. I mean, it would be a good lore reason that he just uh, he was working for Bowser, and he's perpetually supposed to fuck you over. <laughs> Things where Bowser. Bring someone that actually is trying to help, but they're such a klutz that they're actually more of a hinder. I mean, the guy tries, but try, uh, try only works on hand grenades and horseshoes. The camera is ran by Mikuru Asahina. The cam, uh, the camera is a trap to visit by Satan. <laughs> oh, hey, my totally favorite world in the game. Yeah, nope. totally. No, no, yeah, no. I don't going away. Oh, you don't want to? Oh, you want to do the best world in the game? Totally. Hashtag really. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that world either. <laughs> I don't like a lot of these later worlds. The later worlds are kind of just on the. Uh... It's weird because, like, I think by the time that you reach like past Hazy Maze Cave and uh, Dusty Desert, I think that you've reached like the. Uh... 
At least the parts in where I feel like Mario 64 doesn't re level design gets a little too iffy for my taste. Because, uh, let it be known, Mario is... Ironically, Mario 64 Mario isn't that good with dealing with pits. Well... This platforming isn't good for Mario 64. Yeah, it's something with just the way that the, the things are designed. I don't know, it's like, this would be something that I'm pretty sure 2D Mario would be alright with, but 3D Mario kind of struggles a little bit. They're kind of like working off of what they know works as a Mario game, and trying uh, to do it 3D. Call it, where Mar call it Mario's first day. <laughs> At least in 3D platforming, I guess. Well, standards. at least he walks normal, unlike some ponies. I, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I know, know exactly. I know exactly what you're referencing there, and it makes me giggle. <laughs> I still am salty on that. <laughs> uh, I wonder how the guy's doing these days. I hope he's all right. There's the red coin. It's right there. <laughs> Yay! Red coin yeah. star! So, uh, don't be like me and just immediately eat shit. <laughs> Are you sure you're not gonna jinx me? I'll see. If I can even find it. Uh, it's down there somewhere, I think. There it is. This is not a good uh, camera view of it. I mean,. Uh, you can make it, I think. Just need a long jump. You can do it! You can do it! Something sunshine lacks. Yeah, the long jump. Such a weird omission. Granted, I don't think you necessarily need it in Mario Sunshine, but it's so weird of an omission because it's one of those moves that everyone uses. Okay, I'm gonna try going here, this way. Actually, I don't think I'm, I'd make that. Uh, too far. I, I wouldn't go there. These fucking gophers are making me Gorsh. nervous. My favorite enemy, gophers. <laughs> Got it. Wahoo. Wahoo! Wahoo! Oh, right, I gotta find Super Klonoa 64. Give me a second. I know that exists. I know that, uh, I think Dr. Tex is the one that shared that with me. I need to make that Super Klon- Yeah, there we go. Super Klonoa 64. Not 63. There we go, Klonoa! I need three more stars to get access to the last set of- Levels. Ah, yes, the terrible ones. The the, the, uh, the super fun ones. Uh, the clock one isn't that bad. The rainbow cruise one takes a lot of fucking tries for my liking. It's a vertical level, so I don't like it. Bad clock level, very stinky. Oh. Oh, I gotta get this PC version of the game. Person that has, like, every version for every console and, like, special editions, if, even if it's, like, the same game. And I know someone like that. What's that? And it's not you. Oh, okay. Sometimes it's us. Yeah. But this time it's not you. Ah, uh, okay. He has, like, every version of Skyrim. Todd Howard? Huh? That, that's, yeah, that's been out. Yeah, um, I said Todd Howard. Oh. Todd Howard has every- Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has every form of Skyrim, even the Alexa version. No clue who that is. That's the uh, owner of Bethesda. Oh. 
smart. You only do art. <laughs> art is smart. Oh, smart? Art is smart. Art is not smart. Ghosts don't die. Ghosts don't die? Gooses. Are you sure we have the... Oh, blue coin. God, I want to play this mod so badly. <laughs> uh, Does it have wahoos? It, it has wahoos. God damn it, I want this mod. <laughs> Let's go. No. He makes all the cute sound effects from Klonoa, too. Mario, and why? Mario. It was Mario all along. It was Wario. That's why. Wario. Wario. Hi, everyone. Jerry, Deanna, and is Kate Catmom there? Yes, she is. Catmom is this. indeed here. Yep. Don't mind me. I'm just watching this Klonoa 64 mod. Just because. Yes. <laughs> You mean you're not playing Xenoblade 3? I, I put it down because I, I need a minute, remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> I'll get back to it later. Eventually. Later Eventually. tonight. I'll get uh, I'll stay up till three again <laughs> playing more. <laughs> Look, I was really tired this morning. I had to drink monster to keep myself up, but yeah, at least I didn't have much to do today. That's good. All I needed to do is just, uh, yeah, because I just stuck to my desk and just did desk work. So, yay. Quick Feels like it's been, like, a while since I've done that. Just run in circles. That's all you gotta do. Just do Running in circles. Just do it. Just, just keep just... swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Bug. Big Man, uh, yeah, if I'm gonna be doing, like, another run of Mario 64, I'm doing it with a mod. <laughs> Unless I want to bring Twilight 64 again and then just piss off Kate more. <laughs> what? What, what? What even was that about? Uh, every time Twilight ran, her legs were just, like, weird sticks instead of being able to bend at the knees, like how you're, they're supposed to. And every time I watched him stream it, I just wanted to snap her legs. She gets so angry <laughs> whenever I scream that, and I guess I like each time she gets pissed from it. Because I'm just funny. like... <laughs> I'll remember that. Uh, I just remember that, it was just... I just remember how mad you keep getting out of that. Uh, it... I'm good. As I did animation uh, classes, it, it's what bugged me because that's like one of those things that's like a newbie thing to do. Uh huh. But at the same time, it's like something lazy as well. Like you could easily do it. I'm sure you can. It was his first time doing that mod anyway. Oh yeah, so yeah. That mod had bugs. That mod oh, had yeah. bugs anyways because. But hey, it was a positive mod because I got to not do my least favorite level in this game. So hey. I'm totally fine with that. Understanding if it's his first mod, but at the same time, it's like... Yeah. My animator side's like, fix it. Fix it. Fix it! Mildly infuriation. Yes. It's like when you see like a tile in a pattern, and it's like turned the wrong way. Like, someone did it deliberately. Someone tilted... Like Someone tilted all the paintings. Yeah. I'm pulled in a la card. <laughs> I was like a bit. He did proceed to tilt every painting on the way here. I'm gonna have such a headache walking through that hallway. <laughs> hey, you wanna come here? Yoink. Come on over. 
Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know. Ghosts don't die. You don't have to tell me. What? <laughs> oh, big boo. <laughs> okay. That's a big boo. You're very spooky. So, Gamma, I don't suppose you can uh, let me get my 100 coins. I mean, you're almost there. There's a blue coin thing that should be around here somewhere. Ow. I got hit by books. Ah, uh, reading. God dang it. Ah, knowledge is power. Knowledge, my one weakness. <laughs> Damn it. There's a to be a librarian. Ho ho! Oh, another star. I don't need it yet. I need coins. I mean, no. Oh, you, you wait until you, uh, get your hundred. Yeah, I'm waiting until I'm that old. Ooh, there's red coins. Coin. That's. Oh, uh, it's Ashy, if she's still watching. She's asking how Edison is. <sighs> Edison is being a baby. She sleeps a lot. So, uh, her eye keeps getting shut every time she sleeps. Like, it's getting too watery. So I gotta take her to the vet to see if there's anything wrong with it, or if it's just normal baby things. Ow. This blue switch that you're talking about, or this uh, blue coin thing, I think it's might be behind the uh, the invisibility cap that I haven't gotten yet. Is it invisibility cap, or it's just right up in that area? You can probably get to it with a side jump. This is the first time I'm coming to the ghost house. Oh my. Oosh. I said coming to the ghost house, not coming in the ghost house. Well, you just did now. You came inside the ghost house? Yeah. Uh, sure. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I'm not paying for... for... for ghost support. At least you're honest. Okay, nothing in those rooms. Nothing in this room. I wish I knew which one, which one actually does give me like a point bonus and which one actually reaches the point limit. What? I'm looking at, I'm, I'm playing the Xenoblade right now. Uh. Uh. I'm at the final boss. Congratulations! Holy shit! Hey, <laughs> I, I got through the room. It, it said, "Uh, there's no turning back." That, uh, what? Once we go through, we we won't be able to return. Okay, I guess I'm at the point of no return then. What is this Phantom of the Opera? Where? Oh, where? Oh, this, this thing fucking sucks. I hate it. It's 
seriously, this place kind of blows. That sucks. I just went through that door. Oh, here's a room I haven't gone to yet. Spin, spin. You spin me right round, spin me right round. Uh, there's a couple red coins. Oh, come on. I thought I was close enough. Might need to get the coin star later. Place to get as soon as you get the uh, as soon as you unlock the upstairs. I think I need the invincibility cap because uh, I I don't have that yet. Oh, go grab it. At least I know where it is, unlike the metal cap from last time. That was kind of a pain in the ass to find. Hey, yeah, here soon we got some uh, Mario Kart to be, be playing again. Yeah, uh, new the new wave came out today. Yep, today. Hey. Apparently Hi. today. I just checked. It's uh, I saw or some folks have checked, and uh, yeah, it came out today. Hey. If there's a time I bet when we'll stream that, it'll probably be when Zack gets back. Yeah. I might be able to join, depending on if I can get a copy time. That'll be fun, since I think there's up to eight players, but... I think room might be a bit too big if, the, if that's too stimulating for you. When it comes down to it. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, I, I don't like this one. This one's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I think I got it. No. Yeah, you got it. You got that last one. Oh. Yeah, also known as the one where my balls drop each time. It's okay, mine just did too. Yes, Kate, I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I heard. Biting the balls of death. Why are you ball? <laughs> it's a it's an old reference. Balls, oh. balls, balls. <laughs> <coughs> Biting the balls of death. No, that was sucking death's cock. No, no that was sucking death's cock. Death <laughs> has no cock. <laughs> I don't think we find much use for it. I'm ready to go back.
Hey guys, L is real. Ah, uh, yes, L is indeed real. He's real. He's apparently real. He is real. He's real. He's real if you believe hard enough. Like he's Santa also Claus. real in Zelda, too. I was about to say, he, he is also real in Zelda. He's real, I tell you. He used to bring the presents. <laughs> Great pumpkin. Nah, nah, nah. Ow. Yeah, yeah, ghosts don't die. Yeah, yeah, ghosts don't die. Thank you, game. Oh dear. I think I'm having issues with internet. Uh oh. That's not Hello. good. Hello? 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 Are you okay? Oh, there we are. Oh, okay. Are you alive? Yeah, it seems like I'm having issues with, uh... Connection. Oh, I don't know why. It's storming like hell in here. Yay! Oh, good. My favorite. Yay! I might be heading off because I want to make sure my thing does not get fried. Your internet? My computer. If I lose power, I could burn it out if it was live. Oh, yikes. Yeah. That yeah, you, you know how old, you know how old this this uh, PC. It's like over fifteen years old. It yeah, it's very old. Yeah, I, I kept it clean though. Finally, the only thing I've ever replaced it is that graphics card and putting on a, a Wi-Fi card. Everything in here is the original motherboard, power pack, uh, RAM. Only graphics card got replaced. They're at least on the le email end. At least it doesn't crash anymore. Uh, it does this weird <laughs> half half crash where it it runs like I can move stuff, but it won't let me open programs or shut down using the button, so I have to force it down by pushing the power button on my PC. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. That kicked ass. <laughs> oh. We do you, we do you, we Hey bud, hey bud. Dude, my back is turning. Get over here. No. Okay, I'll just go in the door. There, now you're back to normal. Oh, mama. Oh, Johnny Bravo is here. Hey, baby. Ah, uh, that's a good show. <laughs> I like Johnny Bravo. I liked it when I was a kid. Same here. Dexter's Lab. All of them were good. Well, most of them, anyway.
Wait, what was that? I said most of them were good, at least the ones I've seen. Oh, come on! I hate books. Fucking books. Like knowledge? Oh, there's knowledge. Knowledge of learning how to dodge! Okay, Piccolo. <laughs> you learn well from it? No, I don't know how to dodge. Did you get into that fancy school you've been working at? And that is... Piccolo asked Gohan in during one of the movies. Uh, I must have forgot that reference. Uh, I think it was when Go... Go... and Ch um... Chi Chi were doing uh, uh, an interview for Gohan's... Oh, the Broly uh, movie? Yeah, the Broly one. Piccolo <laughs> was like, oh, concerned. The only time in the entire franchise where you see Goku in a suit. Yep. And actually being a parent. Goku's a parent? Hey, Goku a parent? <laughs> I mean, there was one where, I think it was like the newer one, where it shows that he was actually working the field. And that's how they actually make money. They actually farm. Congratulations, Goku. You, you, you can now pay child support. I'm so proud of him. He doesn't have to be a deadbeat dad. Well, can't be really much of a deadbeat bad dad if he's dead a lot. That's how he gets out of it. Shit! <laughs> can't take me to court if I'm dead. <laughs> Here we go! I could have sworn there was a ghost in here. I think I wiped them all out. Oh. That's a pussy cat. I did! I did see a pussy cat! If Goku did want to make m m lots of money, he could always enter martial arts tournaments. I'm pretty sure he's not doing it for the money. No, he's he's not. doing it for the fun of it. Fighting is fun. Fighting is fun. And Vegeta ain't much better. Nope. I love how it became like a, such a sci-fi thing in the older ones, where like the original was really it martial art, with a little bit of sci-fi. <laughs> Like with key, but it's mostly martial arts. Drunk <laughs> DM will and uh, no, we're we're not going there. What? Nothing. Uh, wait, when? Oh yeah, you did get the invincibility cap. Sorry, I was looking. <laughs> Pay attention to my game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just beat the boss, by the way. <laughs> Yay! You got the twist. I, I got one of the twists, and I also got a, uh, I also got a pretty cool, a pretty fun toy to play around with too. Oh my! What do you am playing? Uh, Xenoblade Three. Because I lost control of my life. And also there's like... Four or five or several other friends that are playing it right now too, so uh... A lot of people are playing it. I'm not. Okay, everyone... <laughs> oh, I'm not going there. I was playing a bit, but... Okay. DM had a life. 
Uh, no, I need to find any, uh... I need to grab a 1-up. No. No 1-up. No. 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 Does DM like all the cleavages? Oh my. <laughs> I mean, there's more ass like in that game than cleavage. There's still cleavage in there, though. There's still a good amount of it. I mean, Ethel is a great example of that. But it's mostly ass. It is mostly ass. I'm noticing that with Uni's uh, options. Yeah. I wish that you were able to change the outfit of your heroes, but I don't think you're able to. It's like, all they do is get, like, a jacket. The th yeah, they all get a- I think that's been the running trend, they get a jacket, and that's it. Because they need something that they can basically take off during, uh, camps. I mean, jackets are cool, but I like to change all my clothes. Mm-hmm. Because then you're sneaky. I mean, there is an option to clean clothes in the game, so... But I don't know what it's for. I don't know either. It's not like, um... It's not like Omega Quintet, where you're... Where if your clothes get torn off in battle, you... Um... You, you have reduced stats for it. Uh, I so just you went you don't circle. get powerful when you get naked? No. No, it's not one of those games. No, nah, this isn't kill. This isn't kill a kill. I was thinking of Dragon Ball, where they always remove article of clothing. Dude, that's weighted gear. Yeah, but it's still clothes. Not always, though. Where are you, D? There you are. Okay, I know I'm missing something, and I'm gonna feel stupid. Ooh, almost set you something not safe for work. Shit. <laughs> oh no, the horror. Oh no, NSFW in a private chat, what? Yeah, but it's not something that you've been looking forward to. So, Ooh, just something you... randomly... You don't know that. Lol, if you don't change your clothes, stink line starts coming out of your character. Yeah, and you can't do stealth missions. <laughs> I'm sorry, my whole thing just pros. What was that? No, I'm just- I'm reading what Ashley wrote. It's like, if you don't change your clothes, stink lines are coming out of your character. That would be a nice detail, but I also think it would be nice. It's like, if you're part of, like, a stealth mission and you're, like, you don't bother to, like, clean your clothes or whatever, or to practice personal hygiene, your stealth stack goes down, like, to the pits just because the enemies can literally smell you from a mile away. <laughs> That'd be something funny Metal Gear Solid would probably toy with. I think Six would have totally have done that if they let it. <laughs> Five was already generally close from what I understand. Five was still really good. I need I to I need to play it. Even if I will care for the story. I will check in a second. Um uh, Mississippi. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's been a second. Ooh, that looks really good. She she looks so adorable. Not kind of the collar, but eh. I think the collar looks pretty good. I like the looser version of it though, but at the same time, I just didn't get it the right way. I'm. It would be kind of hard to probably put the uh, the collar to be loose. I think it looks really good though. It doesn't work. It, it doesn't clash with the floof, too. Big floof. Oh no, the class has reached its mass rank. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I fucking love the yum spit. <laughs> the yum what? Look, the yum smith. It looks so goofy. Which one was that again? It's it's Rik it's Riku and uh, and uh, Manana's uh, class. Oh, okay. So you did get that. 
Yeah, I got it. Yeah, that was uh, the uh, that was the class I was looking at last night when you asked me if any other one had a break art. Yeah, it definitely has a break art. I still love that name, Yum Smith. <laughs> Yum Smith. Yum. Yum. Red Robin. Yum. Yeah. No. Right. God, I want to upgrade my classes. When can I upgrade these so I can go beyond just level 10? <laughs> I'm gonna head off. You're heading off now? It's 11.30. Yeah, oh. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Sorry Damn. that late. Damn. And that engine, the storm's like getting a little bit worse, and it's like getting to the point where everything's freezing up after a few miles. So. Uh. Kinda hard to hear sometimes. Oh dear. Storm stinky. It very stinky. Yeah. Well, you have yourself a good night, then. Yeah, good night there, guys. Kate. Same thing with you guys, too. Mm-hmm. Good night, all. Have yeah, a good night there, Kate. Night, night, BB. Love you. Love you, too. Uh... I really wish I knew where I was going half the time. You know, I think, I think the same thing. Um, oh, sweet, I can make um, a thermat thermaturge. A thermaturge. I, I don't know what the fuck a thermaturge is. Um, and, uh, wow, I have no attackers. That has, like, never happened before. You going to change that? I'm I'm trying to. I'm just trying to pick out which classes I haven't played around with. Um, you know what? Uh, sure, we need a fellow Yum Smith, so you be a Yum Smith there. <laughs> I think the first person there, no. I had. A, I think the first person I actually had on that class was Senna. Senna is the one who starts with it. So. Oh yeah, she she looks adorable. She does look adorable with it. I like how there's a boy version and a girl version that's just... Hey, the boys look like Riku and they get the freaking uh, one of those uh, uh, hunting uh, raccoon helm uh, hats. Oh, those? Yeah. Uh, or just Riku's afro. That's another thing. Now you too can look like Rex. He looks so goofy in that, but I like I love it. How could you? And not I'll take like him. I don't know. Um, I mean, the other potential thing I could do is I could get another Full Metal Jaguar. I mean, I do have a. I do have a, a gray. That class I've just forever put on Senna. I think Uni's just gonna be forever this this class. This class is too damn good. I'm a healer, but I'm a healer, but and I have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> For her neutral special, she wields a gun. Yep. All right, I'm level thirty-one, so I can go for uh, calling the Iota now, right? That's level forty. Again, I can go for it now, right? <laughs> sure, totally. Why does this place have to be stupid? Wee! Um, have you completed have you completed any level so far? Like actually got all the all the stars for it? Yeah, I've done that with quite a few places. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Uh, that's the merry-go-round place. I think this is the same thing. Yeah. And it's been a while since I walked around as... Oh wait, I'm Tyon. Oh. No, oh, everyone went to their default outfit for some reason. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the 100 coin mission. Uh, have you been able to get to the roof? Or not no. the- well, not close to the roof, but at least to the third floor. I don't know how to get to the third floor. Um... Because I know that uh, it's not dark by the library, but I know, uh, try going up to the, uh, like, get to the, uh, the topmost floor, and then I could probably guide you from there. Yeah, uh, well, if you want me to. All I can do is go to the second floor. Okay, um... Yeah, just go to the, uh, the second floor and hang a right. Uh, don't grab that star. Um, this one? Yeah, yeah hang a right. Uh, okay, do a do a side do a side jump and then jump up to, and pr try and wall jump. Not not in there. Uh, right into like the uh, the platform, the elevated one. Oh. Uh, yeah, where? yeah. You, you were standing on it. You you were standing on the elevated platform. It was... Oh, right here? Yeah, just stand on that wood platform and then just, like, try and do a side jump and then wall jump. Well, gee, that that's a little out of the way. I, uh, yeah. That would just grab that and that should get you 20 coins, I think. That's a bit hidden. I'm, uh... I uh, I don't know how to I don't know how to describe that. I just I just for some reason remembered that. <laughs> but yeah, it, it it's just stuff that you uh, I just learned from just playing the game a lot. It's a bit dumb if you ask me. Eh, I've uh, I think that the alternative way that you're supposed that you were supposed to get that is uh, I think there was a. Uh, um, a different way that you were supposed to do that. It's just that was the quote unquote speed run way. <laughs> oh. Uh, this. Oh, and. But this star sucks. So. Yeah. Yeah, not doing that yet. Yeah, you're. Uh, the way that you're supposed to get that is, uh, wall. Uh, not wall jumping. Uh, long jumping to the side of the house and then walking on. on the. the smoother edges to actually, like, Grab to the top. I, I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you want to. I got my 100 coin star mission, so. Yep, you got it anyway, so. God, it feels like it's been a while since I've seen these guys in their default outfits. No, I had it! Ye yeah, whatever, I'll just grab this. Just grab it, yeah. You got 50, so you just got 20 more left. Let's go! So, I guess you can take on, uh... Yep. All right, along to the third floor if you want to. Also known as the uh, hardest missions in the game. No, th those levels suck. They're either auto scrollers or vertical levels, which I don't like.
Woo! Woo! Please give me your class. <laughs> Well, that's good. No one died. Uh -uh. Uh. No. Quick, kick for uh -oh. your life! Kick for your life! Oh, I tried. The game just wouldn't read my input there. Or it's like, no, you can't use any more inputs. It's okay, I can do this. I hope. Yeah, you can. Close. I was close the first time. Yep. Yeah, you. Press down on the C stick. Like press, uh, press to go to the Mario cam, and then the press uh, down. That's not doing anything. Down on the C stick. Yeah. Or, uh, uh I don't know if it's different on the Mario's. I don't know if it's different on the thing because there is a way to uh, zoom out with that. Maybe I'll check on mine later. I have an idea. Crawl. <laughs> it's working. It's it working. It is working. It is working. It will work. Yep, and there it. you go. Just crawl. <laughs> uh, Mario Cam might be good here. Yep, just... Right. Yep, you should be good. A one up. So me. Morrow. Big boobs balcony. Big boobs? Big boobs. I like big boobs. Ah, big boobs balcony. Damn, what terrorize uh, Eevee are you hoping to get? Uh, I said isn't, uh, that isn't already an Eevee. So, probably flying. If, or dragon. Dragon would be rad. Scaleon. <laughs> yeah, Galeon. I call it Scaleon. Scaleon? <laughs> Dragon scales. Hey Mario, wrong room. This is the wrong room. For the first time in a while last night, I was actually, I was actually, uh, kind of freezing. Cold? Damn. Yeah, I was cold. In the summer? Yeah. Ouch. That's surprising, damn. This was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Jesus, did something happen? Did the AC turn up or something? No, it's just been a lot cooler lately. Well, it has been. I'm, I'm still... I'm not seeing 90, mid-90s anymore, but it's still relatively, uh, warm. Yeah, it's still was... a little warm, but not too warm. I'm just waiting for it to actually, like, cool down even more. We are entering the, uh, the winter, the, uh, not winter, the fall phase soon. Good. Because I'm done with the hottest shit stuff, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. No point of it being hot if I can't go to a, like, unless there's, like, a way to cool, cool down. 
I might need to get a better air conditioner for next year because this one, it does not cut it when it's like, when it reaches 90 to mid 80s. Yeah, understandable. Fire! 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 Yeah. Fire. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Speaking of fire, uh, apparently the uh, the new uh, the new Beavis and Butthead series is premiering on Paramount Plus now. Nice. I gotta check it out. When Zach comes back, we gotta watch the Beavis and Butthead movies with him. We should. DM Imagine Shedinja in the new system. Oh, I just want to see. I want to see a Shedinja getting crystallized, and instead of having one HP, they have a thousand HP instead. <laughs> But it gets rid of Wonder Guard. Yeah, it gets rid of Wonder Guard, but it makes them a Pokemon badass. <laughs> okay, I think there's only one more Boo mission left. Uh, um, which mission is that? You got the, uh, you got the merry-go-round, the standard one. Uh, I think you got the one. Did you get the one inside the, uh, the invisible room? I should have. I'm gonna double check. Let's see. Uh, eye to eye in the secret room. Uh, um, I want to say that's the one that's in the uh, in that room, but eh, best to check. Unless they're referring to, unless they're referring to the uh, what was it, the the uh, the coffin room. Uh, I got that. In the coffin room that had um. It had red coins in it, though. Yeah, I don't think that one's it. Because that one I remember just having just one of the collectible coins. I think I took a break. I took a long break from just getting knock on coins. I still... I just want to upgrade my freaking... Uh, my freaking classes. <laughs> So you're using up on coins on classes? No, I'm not. I'm thankfully I'm not. I, I'm just wondering, like, does collecting all the up on coins let you upgrade the amount of ranks that you can get? Because I'm waiting until I get to do that. N n no, they're tied to side quest. Bummer. I just, I just want to use like some of my older classes now, just because they're just hanging out in the corner, and I just need to use my freaking sword fighter. I'm Everyone gonna, can wear the red jacket now. I'm just wanted to. I'm just leveling them up at a different time. I don't know. There's probably like a grind method on how to like speed up uh, class point grinding. I wonder if someone found to develop that. I mean, easiest way you could probably do is just level up. Uh, just fight um, strong monsters and get a shit ton of EXP from chain attacks. Especially since I love the... I love the Ouroboros chain. Yeah. That's the fucking best. I, I use it a lot of the time, too. Sometimes it shreds through bosses. It shreds through bosses and looks fucking cool. It's the equivalent of having super moves, which, uh... I guess the equivalent would be the level 4 arts in, uh, in Xenoblade 2. Only these ones are more fun. Yep. Uh, Jared loves the Booba missions. Yeah, Booba. Boozet missions. Uh, Boozet. Hey, she's hot. Um, yeah, she is. Uh, the temperature in Tokyo today was in the 70s when it was in the high 90s. Ugh. Pretty sure DM loves all the booty. Of course. Why wouldn't he? I need 70 stars. I mean... Oh wait, no. B backwards long jump doesn't work here. Otherwise I would use it. If I knew how. If you knew how, yeah. I don't know how to use it because I, I only have experience with the European version. 
You'll need 70 stars. I got 70 stars. Fuck off, Bowser. I'll do what I want. DM loves big butts, he cannot lie. Oh, good, you got the Toad Star. I think that's all of them. I think so, there's three of them. One for each new section. Ah, yes, the, the, the clock where I went mad before. Good times. So, how's everyone in chat doing? I hope everyone's having a good night so far. I'm just Xenoblading 3. I love the Xenoblading 3. Yep. I still love that when I was, like, playing the game, like, before. It was just like, oh, look, more of my friends are playing Xenoblade 3. While I'm just playing Klonoa and I'm just doing the Wahoos. <laughs> it's a stream obligation. It does it count? <laughs> It is stream obligation, yeah. Score. Good, they got something for the underarm fans out there. Jesus Christ. Underarm fans? Uh... <laughs> Just the, uh... Yeah, the... What's it called? Uh, oh, Full Metal Jaguar. Uh, apparently it is a fetish. What, underarm? Apparently. Yeah, it is. Apparently, and I'm just like, as soon as I learned that, I'm like... I... Uh, <laughs> There's be a fetish for everything. There's a fetish for everything. Hide there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just returned from shopping. Hide there. Underarm fans? Yeah, armpits apparently a... Uh, yeah. Is there a MILF in Xenoblade 3? I don't think so, given the lore? Question mark? I don't know. Um... You want me to answer that question? Or, or I, no? I, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Oh, fuck this mission. I hate this one. <laughs> it's, uh, it's up to you if you want me to answer that question seriously. Uh, let me finish this cutscene first, so... So DM doesn't get his fetish in Xenoblade 3? Well, we never I mean, answer the question. Well, you want me just to mute myself and then you'll just answer it? <laughs> well, I don't think that'll work, but, yeah. I mean, it's still vague, even if I did um, give you the answer you wanted. Yeah. The answer I is still yes. Like, there is mom in this. There is mom. Well, Ethel does reach mom tier, so... <laughs> Ethel looks like a woman that's in her, like, uh, mid-twenties. Mid-twenties, or... yeah, mid-twenties, especially. That's kind of what I get from her, anyway. Yeah. I get that with, uh, Alexandra, I kind of also get that, too. She's got the S for it. Yep. 
<laughs> I like how in the uh, trailer for this game, they, they, they there was a shot of Alexandra's ass in the trailer. Someone screen capped that. They did. Boing. Oh, oh DM's favorite fetish is in is in Xenoblade Three. DM can have more than one fetish. Yeah, I'm a one. I'm a one person. So we can have more than one fetishes. It is possible. It's a scientific fact, I think. Ow. Okay, I thought that was gonna be instant death. Oh no, this is a galaxy. Ow. Now that was instant death. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, so how is Lethal Lava Land? Uh, Red hot log rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. I wonder if they actually gave away the flutes in uh, for Xenoblade Three. That'd be awesome. I'm sure that it would. I'm sure that's like kind of one of those uh, have to be specially made ones. Well, I hope they don't do like any of the cheapo like. Oh yeah, discount flutes. Uh oh. Mario. Mario. It's the log. Can we go into the lumberjack games. Pokemon fans have made lots of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet points already. Points? I think they mean porn. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. You could say prawn. <laughs> Unless that gets flagged by Twitch. I'm sure there's porn made for uh, made for Scarlet and Violet characters. There already is. Uh, yes. I mean, there... <laughs> There's one in particular that I was like, oh man, they look cute, and then I realized, oh wait, they're a guy. <laughs> Elevator tour in the volcano. Oh, this is the six star mission already. Yeah. This one ain't that well, this one ain't that long. The most annoying you know? part is the bullies. Yeah, bullies suck. At least, like, the- well, the bullies kind of have a trick to them, so... Bullies I just ground-pound them. That's what I tried, but it didn't work out. No! Oh, fuck off. Mamma mia. Jared needs to bully the bullies. I like how pretty much every single, like, slang term in, that they say in this game, like sparkin', mutter, or anything like that, you could just replace with the F word and it works. <laughs> Fuck. Whoa! Well, I died again. I'm getting bullied by hot sauce. At least you're glad you just respond there. And I'll just take my shortcut. Whoa, okay, that that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. Okay. I see the star. No! You dick! I hate tight platforming in this game. It blows, dude. 
the thing that I don't like about it is the way that uh, Mario inherited apparently Luigi's butter shoes, so his momentum just kind of like works against you a lot of the time. Hmm. Huh. I mean, DM probably wants to fuck a lot of characters. I mean... Yes. Oh, you're trying to speedrun strat there. Okay. It's better than going around. Faster. Faster Mario. Wahoo. That was dumb. Okay, I'm gonna try backflipping that instead. Alright, this thing is gonna ask me to save, but I think I'm just gonna probably uh, just watch this cutscene again later. Does the event theater actually include, like, other... I really don't like it when they show her journal. I don't know why. <laughs> why? Uh... There's something foreboding with it. Like, oh, these care. Remember, Mia was the one with the tight time limit. Oh no, game over. And a Mario Demon. Yahoo! Are we gonna Wahoo? Yippee! Wahoo! Kaye! Poggers! Uh, Pog. <laughs> yes, I want my next uh, platformer to be Poggers. Uh, goat. Here comes the Kavessi soldiers. Do 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 do. Fuck off! That is a stupid trap. Oh, hey, here's a red coin. Oh shit, what the fuck? Poggers! Every time that appears during cutscenes, I'm like always taken aback. <laughs> Shit, I, I that... thought that was Malos. <laughs> Malos? Just randomly, it just like a guy looked like Malos, and I'm like, what the fuck? What is he doing here? For a second, I thought you were talking about the Poggers. Malos saying Poggers. Oh, yes, that was one thing that I was waiting to see. We should see if uh, David Mackin has a fiver page. That way, you could commission him to say Poggers <laughs> in Malos' oh, yeah. voice. I'll see. Yep, time to see. Give him money for it. Monado Parker. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, this guy is constantly on fire. I'm on fire. No. Ne 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 ne. How can we just say, I'm sure there's porn, and we can leave it at that? I mean... It's just the internet we live in. in today's climate. Yep. Is Kamaragi fella supposed to be like Ethel's rival or something? Yeah. For the one that she basically let live because of honor or something. For honor! Which got her freaking thing to dirt rank. Good job, Ethel. Yep. 
Honor a cup. The council does not honor honor. So, yeah. Then again, the council are just a bunch of dicks. So, yeah. Yeah. They're just assholes. That's all I get from them. What an asshole! Just going back to the first Bowser stage to get the red coins. Let's get this butter block. Butter. Sticks of butter. Okay, that one I was the most scared of. Okay, I just need to get to that star now. I'm at the infamous chapter four. Let's go. I got another star. Time to punch Bowser in the face. You know it. DM no dying. I'm trying to. Bowser in the dark world. In the dark world. <laughs> Bowser in the dark world. Bowser in the dark world. Battlefield is good, while it's Fortress, Jolly Roger Bay. Um, is that last one the eel one? Uh, so the eel see. one or Metal Mario can really move. I've got the Metal Mario one already. Uh, red coins on the ship of float. Well, this one ain't bad. Ah, uh, good old Dire Dire Ducks. I hope if we get additional outfits later. They are introducing challenge mode, like, next, uh, next DLC, so... I want swimsuit costumes. We're like- They're likely gonna make us challenge, like, fucking challenge mode missions just to unlock those. I'd still be fine with that. You gotta work for your swimsuits. You wanna see... You want to see Uni in a bikini? You have to earn for it. Okay, I will. Yeah, they're likely gonna put them in one pieces or something. I don't. Actually, I don't remember. In Xenoblade Two, did any one of them like wear a normal ass bikini, like two two piece bikini, or is every one of them wearing like a one piece? I think every one of them is wearing a one piece. Oh, because two pieces would be much too mature. Oh no, the horror. I mean, oh, no. 
Pyra was in that one piece, and look how much fan art spawned of that. You can, you know you can you know it's the limitations that make that people work around that makes things special. Like Mithra with leggings. Pretty much, yeah. Why can't I select you? I do like browsing the hero roster just to see everyone's art. Although I've noticed that everyone pretty much just has one has under like one artist or not. It's like one of them is just the uh, monolith soft or or uh, uh, whoever the main art director is. I'm like uh, Magatsugu Saito. Yeah. Do they vary in art? Do they hire multiple artists for this game again? They just say model with soft and uh, Saito, which you know that that certainly tells me a lot. Whoa, whoa! I'm sure the ascension quest condition, ascension quest condition, we don't know. Ascension quest mission, ascension quest condition. Complete Phase 5 of Dork's development? Oh shit, I, I, I have not touched that place in a while. Does any one of y'all have a hero quest for me? I would like more hero quests, please. Spare I would like hero more quest? DM having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. Ain't no doubt about that. Oh, I tried launching myself to the ship, but that didn't work out. Big stinky. Please tell me you're a hero quest. Look at your previous message when you get the chance. DM the bringing weapon augments back to August for uh, Monster Hunter Rise's free update. So long, gay Bowser. Hi, Christy. So long, gay yeah. Bowser. Uh, I How forgot what augmentation is. How are you, Christy? I haven't talked to you in a while. Oh, there you go. Hero quest. On Yay, more hero quests. Yay. Wait, what quest do you have? What hero quest is it? Uh, unwavering resolve. That sounds familiar. Stratego. Stratagos. Stratagos. An android tactical healer who uses special guns in a way to aid out. Why is it that every he <laughs> most healers have guns? <laughs> guns are awesome. Because if I can. Yes, because my definition of a healer's weapon. Literal pistols. They they just like Sharla, okay? I, I've noticed that. I mean, uh, Valdi was pretty much like that. Heal bullet. I'm, heal bullet. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you with this gun and you're gonna feel better. <laughs> God. It sounds so horrible. Um, You'll feel make... better and like it. I'll feel better. Um, let's see. I made common. Uh, you made common manga common watch a Barbie movie. Why? <laughs> what do you mean, poor manga? Barbie movies are great. 
It depends on the Barbie movie. I heard that, like, the modern ones have been okay, I think. They have guns because they don't want to redo any- uh oh I get oh, it. Oh, ha 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 ha. I get it. I get it. it. Fuck, it. you need a healer. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> which is also- which her staff is also a gun. Yeah. I'm a healer, but... I'm a healer, but I've got a rail gun. I'm a healer, but I have a rifle. <laughs> That's a rad class, though. Too bad uh, the arts aren't that good. No, they're not. She makes a better. She makes a better full metal jaguar, if anything, or a war gunner, or well, no, war medic. That's what it's called. War. Has changed? It has changed, yes. I think that my, uh, one of my friends was actually, like, talking to me about, like, the base classes in, uh, in, uh, Xenoblade 3, and we all collectively agreed that, wow, Lance got the short end of the stick. Lance did? Lance did. His base class kind of sucks. Very slow and... It's mostly just good for drawing an aggro, not a lot of good arts. I mean, you get topple. It's t yeah, you get topple, that's like the only thing, but it's like... It's so weird because his talent art is pretty much, hey, draw aggro. I'm like... Cool, I, I kinda need something else more than that. I think that was uh, Ryan's uh, talent art as well. Was it? I yeah, thought it was I, something else. I think his talent- I think Ryan's talent art was Mad Taunt and actually yep oh uh christy asks is that dm in the call with you jared no it's md actually i'm <laughs> I'm, I'm evil i'm evil dm yep <laughs> meow uh meow <laughs> meow <laughs> because yeah if i'm evil meow <laughs> but yeah I'm... it's me christy how you doing i'm missing six coins Two, three, uh, four, I, five, six, seven. I'm missing one red coin of all things. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, there it is. I found it. Yeah, you, you should be okay. Did you? Okay, let me ask the burning question. Did you grab all the blue coins when they appeared in that tunnel? Yeah. Okay, good. That means they're just around there. Um, DM, isn't MD a doctor? Uh, I don't think that's the term for it. Two dims. Behold the reason you should watch the. Okay, all right, I'll bite. What are you gonna bite? Let me look at this. Hook and sinker. What is this uncanny facial animations? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That the guy's mouth looks like that he could eat me. <laughs> In what way? Um, did he just give him a high five? I I think he just pogged. Poggers. <laughs> Poggers. Ew! He hit a cat. What? What? What the fuck's wrong with him? <laughs> wow. Wow, he, you're right, there is no context for this. No context, Marky. <laughs> I think this guy might be the villain, I don't know. <laughs> this is 2000s? Oh, that explains a lot, then. <laughs> I see, my ass. My M ass. My ass. MD medical doctor, true. Yeah, that it is true, yep. I really don't know where those last coins are at. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Uh, I ran into this problem last time where I was looking for the coins, but I couldn't find them. I could try to smash those blocks above me. Uh, 
I'm trying to recall like where the uh, the rash remaining coins are because I do remember this level being rather stingy with the coins. Um, oh, wait, it's you got is. you got all the red coins, so there's that. Um, I don't think the coins are in the boat, but they had Martin Short play this guy. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll just collect my red coins and be on my red coin star and be on my way. If I recall right, uh, one of my uh, one of my chat basically mentioned that there's like a hundred and one coins in this level. That's such a stingy number. I'll make the rules. I followed. Uh, yeah, I followed them. I I hundred percent of this game like three times. So, in the span of a month, I think. Get the star. Get the star. <laughs> and then you jump off the boat. Wee. Would be the worst thing in the world. Uh, DM Jared, Kate, and Chad. What regional forms are you hoping for in Scarlet and Violet? I'm hoping for a Water Dragon, Garchomp, and look for older starters. I um, I'm not sure in terms of variants actually. I mean, Wooper was a surprise. I could definitely go for a giraffe or a variant or something. Or Heracross. How, how about Dunsparce? Dunsparce would be nice. Dunsparce needs an evolution. It needs something. Yeah. Get the banana, Mario. Potassium. Potassium. So we got about 12 stars left, I think. 12 stars, and I assume that you don't want to do Rainbow Ride, or, uh, or Click Clock Clock. A lot of them are there, though. I hate it so much. It's just 14 stars, I believe. Did you get some from the snow level? I've done all the snow level. I've, I've done, like, almost, like, I've gotten, like, everything on the main floor. Oh, did you get MIPS? Yeah, I got MIPS. Twice. Oh, there's one for him twice? Yeah, he's there, so you can do it one more time. I didn't know that. I thought I got him. Uh, DM Palladian Whooper is poison ground and it can get water absorbed. If he can get water absorbed, that's actually really good. Because that nullifies a, uh, a weakness for him. So he would only be weak to ground and poison at that point. Get the banana, the gift that keeps on giving. Yep. Good job. Yeah, you gotta hurry, so uh, here you go, have another star. Yeah! Why are you stealing my stars? Your princess is in danger! I don't think these guys care. Oh great, um, they're, oh, great. they're like the, the Tanukis in Sunshine. Yeah, pretty much. Or, or or some of the Piant or some of the Piantas because they're withholding stars or shine sprite for some reason. Which Metal is head stupid. Morrow. Yeah, it's stupid. DM ground and oh yeah yeah ground and psychic yeah. Did I say something else? Bread puppy. Oh, but uh, by Fido is literally the best thing I've ever seen. So. I'm glad that Pokemon games nowadays have been realizing that dogs are pretty cool. Man, who would have thought dogs are cool? Yeah, I know, right? Did you grab the star that was, like, right above there? Already? Yep. Or... yep. Yeah. Wait, am I backseating? Sorry. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's fine. <laughs> I don't want- I, I should- I gotta resist that temptation, so... Yeah. Check DMs, DM, sure. I'll check my dude mans. Yeah, I love my dude mans. I see a I see a bread dog. <laughs> That's an adorable bread dog. There's a little foot. That's what I call him anyway. DM said ground and poison. Oh my bad. No, they both start with P. P
And my friends are hyped for Wrath. Oh. For what? My hand. My friends are hyped for Wrath. So. Uh, oh, yep. Wrath. I thought you said Wrath. Yeah, Wrath. Yeah, not. Yeah, I almost said Wrath, uh, but Wrath. Wrath, baby. Let's go. Cool. DM is too busy playing games, so I must distract the backseat gamer with cute bread puppy pin designs. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Christy, honestly, yes. Please keep doing that, otherwise, uh, yeah. I mean, I try not to backseat when it comes to that, so, yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. But I like the dog. The dog is adorable, and I'm kind of curious on what the evolution of this will be. I do like the Pokemon that are based off of food, as long as they're not like Slurpuff and being like, or Slurpuff or Fritzy that have like a really annoying ass evol um, evolution thing. Hey, Milsuri is at least funny. Milsuri is cute. And you just spin, and that's it. I ended up helping Cole get every single version of that that's not a shiny. Yep. Uh, all my homies love Raft. Raft is a fun game. Just be sure that your uh, friend group doesn't, you know, leave you in the dust about uh, how to adventure there. You can spin and make different colors. Yeah, there's like mo like how many combinations were there of of it? I remember hearing that there was a lot. Wasn't there like twenty six or thirty? Something like that. But yeah, it's a lot. Rainbow being the rarest, I think. I have a lot of the um, I have a lot of the the sweets on uh, my I think on my shield file actually. I like the rainbow. Uh, Christy says way too many. I'll take your word on it, yeah. Rainbow requires a sunset. Ah, oh, goddammit, it's a freaking time-based one. Oh, it's like Lycanroc. Yep. DM, I think Cole tried to get all the El Cremes. Correction, Cole with Jared's help tried to get all the El Cremes. Yeah, I... I spent eight months uh, shiny hunting for a Milsuri just for Cole. Yep. There was a lot of effort that went into trying to get those damn, uh, those damn guys. And I went and participated in the, um, the raid events that had them, just so I can get Cole the parts that she needed. Uh, at least that helps her. Oh yeah, I mean, in return for doing those, uh, uh, raids, I did end up getting three shiny milseries. Eh, that's really good. Not counting the one I, I bred for her, though. Yeah. If you count yeah. that, then, then that's like four. Yeah, <laughs> bread. Like bread. Bill. Yeah, like Bill do. <laughs> like Bert, like Fido. 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 Fido is like the best pun in the that I've heard for one of the best puns I ever heard for a Pokemon game. Uh, DM, wouldn't there have to be like thirty shiny Alcremes? I don't want to know about like actual. Like, folks that actually tried to get, like, all the regular milseries, and then after that, try to get shiny versions of all of the milseries. Absolute blog games, then. Why- he why would someone do that? <laughs> uh, the answer is simple, Dean. Content, baby! Ah, content. Got it. <laughs> to- to quote John Stone, the answer is easy. Content, baby! Got it. Yep. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, Fido is like a... Fido is a great pun. Like, that's something that I never would have came across, but it is such a good pun for, uh, for a name of a Pokemon. It's Fido. Yeah, Fido. I'm hoping to invest in Fido ins as, as early as possible. I, I mean, some of the early game Pokemon from what I've... Oh, pins. Oh, okay. 
Uh, some of the early game Pokemon, from what I've noticed, there's a lot of love for dogs in the in this region. I've noticed. Good. You get Houndour early on. You get Growlithe early on, and uh, Fido is a Pokemon here. There's already three dogs. Nicole's gonna have a field day. Yep. All you need is a water dog, and uh, we already got multiple fire dogs. Uh, what other dogs do we got? I don't know what fight. Well, Fido's typing is likely fairy. It's gonna be fairy or normal, probably fairy. Yeah. So all I need is Yamper, but I don't know if that uh, that dog will be outside of Galar, but we'll see. Did they confirm types for all the new Pokemon there, Christy? Just fairy? Yeah, okay. That's fine. I admit if I know I my Pokemon, fairy types are pretty badass. I admittedly haven't been paying too much attention to Pokemon. That's fair. You've been in Xenoblade Hell for like the past couple of uh, days. Um, since it is uh, nine, it's been a full week. Yep. Okay. So now it's been, you've been you've been in Xenoblade Hell for a week. There you go. And I'm at the final boss. It's just like yep, SMT you're... five now. Yeah, uh, yeah, by the way, guys, Jared is now, like, at a 100-hour RPG and beat it in a week, so... I only put 80 hours into it, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, close enough. It rounds up to 100 at some point. Uh, DM, watch there be a Water Paldean Arcanine? I'd be down for it. Like, if you give me interesting typings of Pokemon that I already know of, then go for it. We already have Fire Rock Arcanine. Yeah, and they look rad as shit, so... Yeah. Can we have Hisuian I, Arcanine Bic? I wonder, though, if, like, if they if they actually bring them back, I hope they actually, like, give them abilities to make them more in line with, uh, current generation. I just don't want to leave my shiny one stuck in Pokemon Home. Me neither, because I love the shiny form of, uh, Hisuian Arcanine. And Growlithe, for that matter. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no. Okay, that scared me. Wait, I have an idea. No, that, that's not the idea I wanted. You're supposed to kick. Nope. You're supposed to kick like a baby. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kicking. Ah, ah! You bastard! <laughs> Man. Look. I'm smart. Yeah, these levels suck. Uh, no. Do you have any other, like, levels that you've, uh, yet to do? Poggers! Yeah, that was very poggers. They're doing a past and future thing for this game, so we're able to transfer Legends Arceus Pokemon to this game. Okay, so you know that after we do, uh, what is it, Legends, uh, Legends Arceus, we need a Pokemon game that takes place in the future, right? At least I can transfer my shiny Arceus. Yep. That I hunted for. It took a long, long time. I've, uh, I wasn't willing to invest in trying to shiny hunt any of those Pokemon the old-fashioned way. I... You, you know what? I, I wonder if they fixed that glitch in Pokemon Legends Arceus, where if you use Shadow Force with Origin Form Giratina, your game crashes. I wonder if they did. Uh, the we did... Oh, Hisuian Zoroark appeared in the trailer. Ah, okay. Oh, good. I, I, I like Hisuian uh, Zoroark. <laughs> Uh, Mirai means, yeah, Mirai Dun is a pun for a future dinosaur, so. Or future, whatever Dawn is. I unga bunga pick past. I, I, I'm, I'm unga bunga because I am smooth brain for, for Sada, so, or Sada, so, yeah. Turo We're looks good too. I like Turo. We're very simple human beings. Yeah. 
I see Unga Bunga Cave, uh, Cave Lady Professor, and I want... Neuron Brain Activate. I also like the fact that uh, Soraidon is basically the Flintstones motorcycle. <laughs> I thought the same thing, too, when I saw that. I was like, this is almost like the Flintstones. Yeah, because all he's doing is just walking. And that's like, it's literally what the Flintstones do, and I love it. Ten more left. They're going ham with these names for Pokemon. Oh, they're they're. Hey, I'm proud of them. They did good. There must be some Gen C employees in Nintendo America. I wouldn't be surprised. Some folks grew up with Pokemon, and they're working at the Pokemon Company. I want Lechunk. Lechunk's look. Lechunk's adorable. I like the new Pokemon we've been getting so far. I'm gonna name him Lechungus. Yep. You and me, me and everybody else, probably. Yeah. Lechunk is a bit hammy named. Uh, <laughs> I, I get it, it's a pun. I'm hip. How do you do, fellow kids? Behold the easy bully. That was as soon as he landed, <laughs> he landed on the fucking <laughs> the fucking snow. Nintendo said, "Hey, people with ADHD, look at this." I'm I'm waiting to see on more stuff with uh, Scarlet and Violet. I don't know if we're actually going to be getting like any more like large trailers for Scarlet and Violet up until the end, like because the game's releasing in about uh three months. So oh, th there's so much games coming out in the last part of the year. You're telling me, man. Like we, I, we still got Bayonetta three. Yeah, yeah, Bayonetta 3 and already Xenoblade, so... And Xenoblade's getting its expansion stuff, too, so... And Soul Hackers. Soul Hackers, too, as well. Ah, Mario! Ah, uh, Snow. I liked his Sui and Layla again. Me, too. Naming Pokemon you. <laughs> Next thing you'll tell me is that we're gonna catch Pokemon in Great Balls too. Man, who would and who would do that? That's lame. Yeah, yeah, Pokeballs all the way. I look forward not being able to stream until December. Ugh, that sucks. I'm guessing internet reasons. Okay, I got this. I promise. I hope. DM Soul Hackers and Destroy All Humans 2 reprobed this this month? What the hell? Come on! I'm trying to finish Xenoblade! That's not fair. That's not fair. Location reasons. Understandable. Oh, not. Okay, this sucks. A stupid penguin. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I love this star. The star is great. Oh, not... I want to squeeze this little flea off. Uh, it's ice physics too. Yep. I'm a snowman. Yup. I mean, at least he didn't blow you off. <laughs> He'll blow me, all right. DM Soul Hackers and Destroy All Humans 2 reprobed is near the end of August. It's still it's this month. I got lots of games to play. We got conventions we're going to as well. Fuck! Yeah, that too. Yeah, convention time is uh near the end of this month, so. Whee! My hat! I didn't even have to chase a monkey for it! Thank god. 
That mo that monkey's fucking annoying. Uh, DM yeah. October is Persona 5 Royal. Yeah, I know, and I'm finally gonna beat that game. So, so yeah, finally. Jared, how the fuck did you fall off like that? Said uh, Christy. Because physics, the the stuff with the penguin is a little iffy. That's why I just use a trick for that. The penguin stinky. I don't like him. He's mean. He's a jerk. Someone really doesn't like penguins in Mario 64, or do, but they don't. They have a really weird way of showing their love. Penguins have a. Penguins are involved in a lot of really annoying missions. That's why when the uh, Wii U came that, that's why when the Wii U came out, we skinned them, and because they're a power up. Oh, oh, right. I was like, <laughs> Jesus, man, what the fuck? <laughs> you got dark there. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck, man? I don't remember to. I don't remember Penguin Skinning Simulator released on Wii U. <laughs> Penguins be cute, though. Yeah, I like the penguins. They're adorable. They just involved in a lot of really annoying missions. Uh, DM, are you getting P Persona 5 Royal on PC or Switch? Both. Likely just Switch for now, though. Because, you know why? Because portable. portable. I'm good on PC and, because mods. Yeah, PC has mods, and that's another reason why I'm going to get it on PC. Because who knows, someone could finally replace the Futaba with an Inkling, and uh, it would be really funny. Whirl from the Freezing Pond. I mean, Overlord 2, you hunt seals. See I you? don't know See why. You? Someone didn't like seals, apparently. Apparently. Money. I know what mods Jared wants, Giggity. I want the mod where we can date Psy. That's the only good mod out there. <laughs> Man, screw the nudity mods. Dating size is where it's at. The dating size is where it's at. That's the biggest thing, just because they have the freaking voice files for her, but they just never fucking did it for some reason. It's so frustrating. Even in Royal. Get it. What, did they just assume? Nah, no one's gonna care because this is just a story-based social link, and I'm like... Bitch. You let us date our teacher. You think we wouldn't care? Hot for teacher, baby. For teacher. Thank you, Van Halen. Hi. Hi. Uh, Jared's gonna go score. <laughs> We're gonna score now! Uh, <laughs> does this mean we score? Did we just do it? Oh, that's a star. These guys are nothing but horny teenagers. <laughs> What do you think they were? Ten grand? That's you, bass. <laughs> or Marina from Splatoon 2 as Futaba. Why Marina? Marina doesn't make sense. 
Uh, because Futaba, at least the joke for her, is that she looks a lot like the normal female Inkling. Especially the Splatoon 1 base. Yeah, that's... that's where I think the Splatoon joke really comes in. Yeah. Marina doesn't really make sense for in that context. Ah, she... oh boy, my favorite level in the game. I mean, she's an uh, Octoling. Yeah, she's an Octoling for one. Marina's the most tech-savvy of the characters. Okay, if we're going to Octo expansion, sure. Just We're just referring to design-wise, I think that's why uh, our regular Inkling makes sense for uh, Futaba. I really wish I actually devoted time for Octo Expansion when I should have, but oh well. I still don't know how to feel about Splatoon 3 at this point. It feels like we barely got much information in, in that game. At least information that I was interested in. We really haven't gotten too much. I mean, I think they've talked about the multiplayer. I mean, yeah, that's cool, but I'm in it for the single player campaign. There is a single player thing that they're doing, but it's like, I don't know what else you're trying to detail. And uh, they kind of didn't answer the biggest and most important question in Splatoon. Ooh, Who's that? announcing our battles? Oh, yeah. Who Who's up? Who's Boy. our idols? Do we have idols in this one? You know that no no one is gonna be or folks are gonna be unhappy if they don't have idols, right? Like if we don't get an off the hook or a squid sisters in the game, it's I guarantee folks are gonna be kind of miffed about that. Then why am I even playing? Yeah, it's like what's the point? <laughs> Marina built a good amount of tech advanced multiplayer advan- Oh yeah, yeah, there's that. I so- I felt so bad for Marina for Splatoon 2. All the- All the Splatfests were lined up against her. It's another thing with Splatoon 3, can we actually have good uh, Splatfests this time other than just it being food based? Yeah, I don't care about ketchup versus mayonnaise. I, I care about uh, Autobots versus Decepticons. Or even though I... Or, or Pokemon Red versus Blue. Yeah, they could. there was the easy gold and silver route they could have taken, but they didn't for some reason. They even had a... Uh, they, they even had one for, like, Patrick versus Spongebob. Yeah, I'll take that. Wait, who was which? Or which is which? Like, did Marie, like, uh... Spongebob, or... Yeah, yeah, I'll just look it up. Uh, they did Mushroom vs. Star. But why Mushroom vs. Star? One of them gave you... One of them gave, gave you temporary invincibility. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm pretty sure they're either waiting for the September launch date or we're getting the Squid Sisters back. I guess I wouldn't mind if they did bring back the Squid Sisters, but I'm kind of more interested if they do someone new. That's kind of the point of a new game. Yeah, I mean, if you mage them up or give them different outfits, then maybe that's a pass, but... Well, one, I don't think they really aging up squid characters really works. There's only one old dude, so... yeah. M Mr. Captain Cuttlefish himself. Yep. Ow. Like, give us, like, a good single-player campaign, because, like, Splatoon 2's base one was just basically, here's Splatoon 1 again, so, if you want it. And, uh, Octo Expansion, at least, from what I played, was really good. No, I haven't done a lot in Dire Dire Ducks. Dire Docks ones, it's it's water, but they're not too bad. Most of those are platformy ones. Oh, and DM Agent 3 is taking over the Captain Cuttlefish's role by going by the trailers. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. I, I wonder if 8 will actually make an appearance. Or 4, even though 4 was just kind of there. Let's go. 
I always like seeing our older pro tags actually make an appearance in games. That's why I like gold and silver. Yep. Ah, uh, this kind of stinky. The whirlpool. Oh no! No, 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 no. I looked away for a second. I'm safe. So how goes the Xenoblade? Uh, I, I turned it off because I need to watch the rewatch the cutscene again, anyways. So, yeah, uh, I, I, there was a lot of information that was kind of there, so I wanted to, I wanted to devote some time to actually like listen to it and stuff. Understandable. I mean, I could do side quests, but I'm still like part of like a really big mission thing, so. Yeah, I'll just do it later. Up, uh, so apparently I'm supposed to get like a new healer base class. So hey, that's something. Those are always good. Yep. Uh, DM, I like the boss fight for the Octo expansion. From what I saw, the boss fights looked legitimately cool, especially the final boss fight. <laughs> Jared, the sharks only want hugs. No. They can take their hugs elsewhere. They want a loan. Because they're loan sharks. Oh, sharks. Mario, Mario is friends, not food. This is a safe place for him. I'm actually gonna just uh, wrap up the story for Xenoblade 3 tonight and do all the side content afterward. Since I'm that far in. I mean, it is still... You still got, yeah, a lot of the side content to do for, for the game, so... Yeah. And then yeah. work at your own pace. Mm-hmm. That way, once I get done with the story, I don't have to worry about spoilers anymore. I would recommend doing that because, uh, yeah, you already mentioned on Twitter you already spoil on something with the, yeah, uh, with the fucking game. Yeah, because someone decided to put it in a YouTube thumbnail. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to... I removed, like, anything that's related to Xenoblade that isn't just basically a picture because they wanted to post the soundtrack. I like listening to the Chain Attack theme. It's a good theme. Yeah, it's one of the, uh... Eh, the Mobius theme ain't bad, but... Yeah, it's between You Will Know Our Names finale and, uh, the... Uh, the Chain Attack theme. Because the Chain Attack theme is so fucking triumphant. There is one other theme I... There is actually two other pieces of music that I really like in the game, but those are both spoilers. Oh, great, cool. <laughs> I guess I'll figure that out once I get to it, so... We'll see. Um, is DM uh, uh, food? I'm not Paimon. At the very least, I know what chapter they're on. Uh, once you get there. I'll, I'll, I'll wait on that, yeah. Xenoblade 3, I don't, I'm dedicating a lot of time to actually, like, you know, trying to beat it. Also prove my friend wrong, because my friend keeps telling me, Oh, you'll not finish it. Joke's on you. Joke's on you, I'm gonna finish it. Damn it. It's only because, I mean, Xenoblade is just kind of one of those things I invested so much time in that I just need to dedicate myself to it. Uh, DM hasn't played Genshin in a long time. I'm waiting for Shen He, damn it! Or my or Yai Miko. I'll wait until they start appearing again, and then I'll, uh, I'll go play more. Yai Miko's hot, I'm sorry. Miko, Miko, me. 
<laughs> DM, I think Nintendo's trying to avoid spoilers for Splatoon 3 single player. It's interesting because like a lot of games they've been really releasing lately have been kind of on the hush hush in terms of hey, uh, we don't want to spoil too much out of it because it's so weird. Back in like 2016 and 20 like 2015 to 2017, they were not afraid to show like a lot of stuff from their cutscenes. Like blatantly show like end game or mid to end game stuff. And nowadays they've been really hush hush and like showing anything about their games lately. The last time I remember where Nintendo showed showed something where it was pretty late game spoilers was actually Violet's reveal trailer. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one was pretty late. Uh, mm -hmm. Nintendo got sneakier, very. Because, yeah, even for Three Hopes, a lot of the stuff that they took for that is out of context stuff, and a lot of the stuff they showed were either brief clips of something that you would only see that vaguely... that super-duper vague stuff that you wouldn't even know came from, like, the ending of one of the pads. But, uh... The other one is just, like... Yeah, they they barely like show anything that happens. It, it's either mid game stuff or up to before the uh, part two stuff occurs, or really vague innocuous stuff that no one would even suspect is part of the ending. Which, good. I prefer that. I don't want to be spoiled on stuff I'm interested in. Yeah, it's it really why a sucks. lot of folks, including, oh, go ahead. It really sucks when it does happen. Yeah. Like, Square Enix still is, like, in my opinion, still pretty bad about that. Like, pretty much blatantly showing off every little bit about their game. <laughs> um, at least story-wise, at least. Uh, but yeah, Nintendo, in terms of, like, all the stuff they've been showing is, uh... Basically, kinda just stuff that you would expect, as well as just stuff to kinda develop the intrigue and get people's brains going about it. And it isn't, like... I don't know, Pokemon Sun and Moon, where they blatantly show every single new Pokemon and every single new feature that the game includes, so... They haven't done that in years either, thankfully. I think that was uh, one of the big issues people had with Sun and Moon back then. Yeah, there was nothing new that Sun and Moon didn't, like, you know, uh, introduce that wasn't in a trailer. Uh, Let's Go kind of also had that problem, too. Well, but that go. was also Gen 7, so, yeah. It, it was also Gen 7, and, you know, it was also kind of a remake of Gen 1 again. Yeah, you can't really spoil a game that has existed for 20 years at this point. Or 30. <laughs> yeah, plus, uh, there... Uh, plus, there, there was very minimal new content in the game. I mean, more new, new content than, uh, BDSP, but still. Yeah. Uh, I think that the last time, because I think Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon didn't really have anything spoiled necessarily. They had like the one reveal trailer, and I think that was, and I think a couple of Ultra Recon Squad stuff, but that was it. They learned. Yeah, they learned after Gen Seven because it's like, hey, I think that people don't want all of their games shown before they actually get into it because that's kind of the fun of Pokemon is actually going to a region and being surprised. Exploring. Yeah. Just one of the reasons I really liked uh, playing uh, Sword and Shield as blind as I was, because uh, it was actually really fun just going into the wild area and seeing what new po Pokemon popped out. Yeah, that's what I liked. And I think we're going to get that same impression for Scarlet and Violet, at least from what I'm seeing. Uh, even though for some reason I'm seeing like a lot of people who are complaining now that Pokemon is not showing enough information. One of the biggest ones is the starter evolutions. We don't need which, to know all the evolutionary lines. I honestly don't really mind not knowing because I kind of want to see how my little buddy is going to turn into by the end of the game. Like, I like to figure that out on my own. Don't want your choice being dictated by a spoiler like the. Yeah, 
And I understand why people do that. It's because you ever have that feeling where, oh boy, I love my little young, uh, my young starter, and then it evolves. I'm like, this is shit. <laughs> <laughs> You guys like, I, I know a lot of people who basically are who are like that so because they want to they want to know before they don't they don't want to risk the whole thing about knowing on what their uh, evolution line is and I can understand that I mean maybe not many people really like a uh, Hisuian Typhlosion for instance and uh, maybe people like uh, doesn't like the fact that Incineroar stands up now. But yeah, it's just kind of like a thing where I'm like, eh, I get why people complain about that, but I kind of like prefer just not knowing things from the get-go. It's like Christmas. Yeah. Can't wait for my Fire Dragon Fuit Coco. I can't wait for Sprigatito to, for some reason, stand on their hind legs. I can't wait for that. We'll see how Weed, uh, Weed Cat actually does turn into. I still can't I like... believe... I still can't uh, believe that when the, those Pokémon were revealed, Sprigatito got the most loons out of all the fucking Pokémon. Why? I don't know. Quaxi is literally a dawn. Why? Why isn't the folks? I, I don't get why a fucking cat is uh, the most uh, lootable. Come on. It's the pussy. Pussy. Watch Sprigatito turn into a new waifu Pokemon. Oh my god. <laughs> We at least have one waifu mon per generation, from what I've seen. Yeah. yeah. Something that the furries enjoy. Me included. Yep. Oh, we didn't see about what the Pokemon are. Yeah, the last two are just on there. You're, it wasn't too bad. It just takes a bit. I'm trying to think about like what other... Because, yeah, the stuff that they revealed in the trailer was... Pretty alright stuff. I mean, I like the open world aspect that they're taking with Pokemon now. I stated this earlier, but it's like, I don't think we had the ability to choose which gyms we want to take in any order before uh, before Platinum, because Platinum had to add it in, if I recall correctly. Hmm, I know Platinum, you can do a couple of gems out of order. I don't remember if that was the case for Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> uh, pretty much BDSP followed the same order that it did with Diamond and Pearl, and yeah, pretty much. You couldn't do Fantina from the get-go. You have to do Maylene, and then you have to do Crash Your Wake, and then you have to do Fantina. It's so weird that they move Fantina up. I, I don't get it either, to be honest. I mean, she's harder. Yeah, I'm glad they got scaling down, but it's just like, it's so weird that they basically had to do that. <laughs> but yeah, in terms of, like, other stuff that they're trying to do, I'm guessing that the way they want to handle it is through, you know, level scaling, because they've been doing that with the wild area Pokemon for a good while. I think they've gotten, I think within the last, uh, several Pokemon games, they've actually gotten down uh, level scaling and EXP sharing down pretty well. Yeah. Because the last few Pokemon games have been pretty difficult, let's not kid ourselves. Uh, BDSP, especially with champion level teams. And are competitive viable. Yep. I'll wait and see about how they do things for Scarlet and Violet because it looks like they are basically putting things back to basics now, so which is a good thing. So I guess we'll see what happens there. I haven't seen how they handle the gameplay for this, so I'm not sure if they're going to do the strong and agile style again. As fun as it was. Yeah. DM, okay. you could also do Crash Your Wake and Baleen. Oh, you can? I didn't know that. 
Oh, you went through the hole. Went through the hole, went through the hole. Yep. We're only missing five stars. Nice. Ah, yes, we need those five stars to bank to be Mar for Mario to be the best restaurant in town. Oh, yeah, baby. Mario's, uh... I don't, I, I, I don't know what Italian restaurants are called. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about Itali uh, Ital Italia. I don't know anything about Italia. Italy. Italia. Italia. Italia, yeah. The anime. Is, uh, it the main, um, is, is it the main character also Italian? I think so. I think the main character of Italia is Italy, so yeah. Yo ho ho, he was born in Italy. Uh, Cynthia's final team being able to wipe max level teams. Yeah, because they pretty much built Cynthia for being the hardest, the hardest challenge for it. So, yeah, have fun. I did. Yep. Uh, I would say, uh, yeah, because, like, the, the scaling that they've been doing for each of them, because, you know, they kind of expect the fact that not everyone is going to do the whole one team dedicated setup anymore, and they also are aware that the EXP shares a thing, so... So yeah, they made things a bit harder now, thankfully. It's not gold and silver where every trainer is very weak. It's weird, gold and silver, it's like, I just, that's why I always preferred the remakes. The remakes actually did a better job at scaling. I don't even know why, like, in Gold and Silver, they made it so... Oh yeah, let's just make it so that every single one of the trainers you deal with is, like, level 30, and then we have to make the final boss at their 60s. That's a very... that, that was a very big level curve. I... I don't get it. It also... there was also some things I've noticed with, like, with, po with the original Gen 2. Because it's like, they made Janine, for some reason, have level 35 Pokémon. And at a point in where you're generally likely going to be at level 60 or, or level 50. What? Why was that cloud pogging? I, what? Oh, oh yeah, they're, oh yeah, that cloud is definitely pogging. Mm, it's up, it's pog. up, dude. Pog. Uh, I think DM loves Cynthia's ancestor as, well, well Kogita is pretty hot. She's the definition of a G milf. <laughs> uh, where, where am I? What's up, dude? DM, I wonder if the Gen 5 remakes will have Mega Evolution, and DM, imagine if Cynthia could have Mega Evolved Garchomp and BDSP. I would have been alright with them actually doing that. I mean, I don't know. I also don't know why, but in like the anime. They apparently have Cynthia now participate again, and for some reason her Mega Stone is on her lipstick case. That's a little weird. That is weird. And oh, oddly I... hot. What? Cynthia hot? It's like, it was weird, but oddly hot, so yeah. J this just in. Cynthia hot. Cynthia's hot. Uh, yeah, big shocker, I know. Meanwhile, water is wet. Water is indeed wet, yep. But yeah, Gen 5 remakes are likely around the corner there, but I know that people are gonna fucking scrutinize that to hell and back, considering that. Gen 5 is kind of the golden child to a lot of people. It's a really good generation, despite the hate it got when it first came out. Yeah. I both hardened and softened on that generation at the same time that I didn't think was possible. Easy. 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 Is it? Is it? Uh, Cynthia's not just hot, she's smoking. Yeah. Yeah, smoking your team. Yeah, exactly. Somebody stop her. 
No, I don't want to. Ready the cannons! Cannons. Oh, this star sucks. Can't just yeah, this star it. is this, this star is basically one or done. Remember, you only have one shot. One opportunity. I found Gen 5 easier than 4. Uh, good for you. Oh, I missed. All I can really say, Devastator, is uh, good. I... I still think that Gen 5 was a pain in the ass. But then again, you're talking to someone who wasn't really willing to experiment with Gen 5 Pokemon that much. Oh yeah, actually, speaking of Gen 5 Pokemon, one of my Gen 5 favorites is actually appearing in Sword in uh, Scarlet and Violet. Which one is that? Dean? Deer- uh, Deerling. Oh yeah! Oh, 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 wait, that, that is something I, I, I noticed in the, in the new Pokemon trailer, is that, um, Sauzbuck, um, is, I, I think it's getting a different regional version of it, or, or not, not, not a regional version, but, like, a different seasons version of it. I'm down, because I, I do think. like Sauzbuck. If, if, if it does get its seasons versions back, um, that thing's no longer stuck in Gen 5. Yeah, because, you know, season bullshit. Mm-hmm. I mean, they can work it back in, but it's just annoying to try and deal with. Because a lot of Pokemon, especially those who have to follow through gimmicks, they have to... Yeah. Uh, bulk up with Embor can be scary. Yeah, I didn't use bulk- I didn't use Embor, so... Yeah. I'm not a fan of the Gen 5 starters as much. I warmed up to them, though, but... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just not a fan. But then again, you're talking to someone who basically picks Snivy as their first one, and Snivy is not good. He looks cool, but not that great. Yeah, I, I don't like Snivy. <laughs> On my first playthrough, I didn't know of its ability at the time, but I ended up getting a... I ended up getting, um the uh sand dial line and it had and right when i caught it it had moxie nice that was a really fun time oh cool yeah. i killed your pokemon attack up yep i swear that move i swear that ability is unbalanced I really hope the one thing that they do keep from Legends Arceus is that they make stat buffs temporary again. But... Because that was honestly a really good change. And being able to evolve your Pokémon anytime you want, once it's ready. That was another one, yeah. That's another good one, because... Legends Arceus introduced a lot of good changes for the game. Because I... I would rather the stat of speed temporary because otherwise you'll just make your Pokemon an all-out god that can pretty much sweep a team. And uh, evolving Pokemon anytime that you want is a better choice than having them automatically evolve. Because hey, what if you really like their Pokemon in their base form and you'd rather just not press B every time they level up? Or give it an Everstone when you could be giving it an Eviolite. Yep, exactly. By the way, this star is stupid. Yeah, I like that one anyways. That one I just get lucky. I know there is a, uh, a pad that you're supposed to go on in order to make it there safely instead of just doing the kicking method for it. Because I yeah. never got that kicking method. I, I just do it because it's faster. Yeah, there's that. Cro just... Crocodile with Moxie, dear god. Yeah, that's called smoke and everything. You know, I'll just get that star later. If I can make it up there.
I also don't like how if you get too close to a wall, Mario just hugs it. It's attracted to it like a magnet. It's really dumb, honestly. Oh, that's why I was sliding a little. I went the wrong way. I love Delphix and Gen 6 Calm no. 9. Yeah, that's why I just urge Pokemon Company to just take what they did have in Legends Arceus and just basically apply it for later gens. Because, yeah, I'm just kind of tired of just the strategy just basically being, yeah, just pump your Pokemon full of stat buffs and then make them sweep teams. Because honestly, sweeping in terms of like team setups is not really as interesting compared to, you know, strategic play. That's just me though. I'm a I'm a fucking boomer. <laughs> Good, yet another person who's uh offside tomorrow. <laughs> Poison stall. <laughs> that is a strategy, a viable one. Makes you look like a dick, but it works. Thanks, Koga from Pokemon Stadium. Yep. No. Oh, holy shit, she's finally back. Who? Hajime, uh, the uh, the blonde uh, v uh, VTuber from V Shoujo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she was on hiatus for months. And now she's back, so I'm going to tune in real quick. <laughs> oh good, I restart here. Yeah, it's one of those. Holy the shit, she's still hot. <laughs> Isn't she the milf with the big titties? The very same, yeah. Okay, I was making sure it was the same one. The very same. Good. And apparently Giguk is in here for some reason. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I should stop going for the coins. I'm greedy! Well, at least that's another star. Maybe I should be paying attention to the stream, but I am distracted right now. <laughs> Kiryu Koko has a VTuber character at another company. Yeah, but yeah, I'm fully that's aware case. of that. I think that's case on. Case on on air, yeah. Case on on air and Nazuna are former Hololive folks. It's not a secret. Okay, I was looking away from the stream real quick, and then I just heard like a, a I heard something out of context. Uh, I think one of my favorite strats is a sturdy Shedinja. That is very smart. <laughs> Wahoo! 
Okay, so you're currently at star 66, you need just four oh, more. Um, you trying to think about other one. Um, you asshole! Yeah, fuck that monkey. Wasn't the monkey, yeah. it was the- it was fucking fireball. Yeah, well that fireball still hurts. <laughs> Knocked me off the edge, now I gotta climb back up there for the third time. Sadly, Sturdy Shedinja is still destroyed by weather. Yeah, that. Yeah, I, the, normally I just I, one of my biggest like pet peeves when it comes to like trying with Pokemon is like, hey, I like to talk about my favorite Pokemon. Throw a rock at it. That's my least favorite fucking reply from like uh, every time I try and talk about Pokemon. Mm, Why does most of my Pokemon have common weaknesses? No coins, huh? <laughs> oh, man. This level blows. Do you have any other easier levels that you can go to for... for stars? Not really. All of them are difficult, one way or another. They're all vertical level. they're all vertical levels where it's like, Oh, you gotta climb it! I use Grimstar with Prankster, it has bulk up. Wait, 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 wait! Okay, this was a happy accident! Yeah, uh, uh, okay, that was a happy accident. A very happy accident. <laughs> now that's on the fly thinking. <laughs> yeah, now you're thinking of portals. Just three more left. I still haven't beaten the first mission here. Well, if I used a quick save, I could probably just take a look at the cutscenes later. I'm really glad that e that every one of the heroes actually do level up with you. They're not st they're not stuck at a certain level. Yep. Oh, good. My Valdi is still stuck at level 17 from the moment I recruited him. <laughs> Better use him then. Well, he. Well, I'm glad that's not the case. So, because I do need to use Valdi more. Imagine bringing him to the final boss and he's still at level 17. Jesus. So much for being a healer. Yep. Can't even heal yourself. Jump. Uh, I hate that log. Jeez. Why do a lot of the missions I'm missing have to be vertical levels? I just climb to the top. Yeah, the game is pretty much telling you to do to uh you got to do them eventually. I don't like this kind of level design. There's a reason I've been putting it off. Uh, come on.
Yeah, these guys are kind of making me a bit anxious. Because Jared is platform shut. I don't think that's the problem there, Devastator. It's just likely just due to uh, just kind of adapting to the physics in 64. 64 does not play like any other Mario game, just saying. Aw, oh, damn. Base having issues. Who is? Uh, the VTuber I'm watching. Because it's Mario 3D, can't go left and right too much. Yeah, you know what? Mario has just so much experience just going straight that uh, trying to go left and right is a bit of a challenge for him. It's my head cannon. Got another one. Could you imagine Nintendo hired a Rockstar to make a Mario spin-off? Rockstar? I mean... What would it be? Just an open-world Mario and New Donk City? New Donk City. Ah yes, Grand Theft Auto New Donk City. And I'm the big Mario. Don't bring Mario. Super Mario Kart Theft Auto. Super oh, I Mario robot Auto. Chicken. Oh, good. Eleven messages from one person. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. Ah, what the hell? Is it spam messages? Nah, it's just one person who just keeps messaging me because they want attention. Yay! That's fun. Can't get the feeling I need a... 
We'll go back to small Mario here. Star. Number sixty-nine. Oh, nice. Okay, I know what star I'm gonna get for my last one because it's actually back in that other world, and I know exactly where it's at. Trick is just gonna be to get it. Does the game have a stalker? No, just a really a pushy friend. That's it. If I save and quit my game, do you think I'll get my hat back? Sure, I don't... This monkey wants in. Wow, what a dick. Hey, let me hit you while you're on this log. I can't recover, then I fall down. Wow, what a dick. Why must you hurt me this way? Everything okay? Hey, Rush, shy guys are jerks. Uh, yeah. Not so shy if you're bugging me. Jeez. Damn, imagine a full Mario RTS where you can build armies. I mean, that's possible with just, like, I don't know, with the idea of Mario just basically uh, controlling, like, Goombas and stuff. Pikmin would probably be, like, another reasonable thing. That monkey. I'm not getting that monkey. Fuck him. He took my hat. That was so dumb. Why must I climb up these vertical levels, man? It's okay, we're almost done. Yeah. Then we can go back to Zelda and Xenoblade. Yeah. As soon as, soon as I quit having shit thrown at me. And sliding. And hugging walls. And pain. And falling.
Why? Oh, wait. That, that's the second time I'm... Okay, let me start my game. See if I get my hat back. I think there is another place that you can get your uh, hat back, if I was called right. Uh, I'm just seeing if this works. Nope. Nope. Try world. Yeah, you know, I could try TikTok clock. Oh, you want to do an easy one? What? Uh, get in there when the clock is completely stopped, and then just try and go for the uh, the red coin star. Okay. Unless you already did that one. No, I haven't. That was pretty easy. Uh, when the clock hits what? Uh, do it when it's at 12. Minute hand on 12. That should be all completely stopped. Alright. Yep. Is it stopped? Okay. Yep. Uh, oh, wait, you're not going the right way. Uh, oh, I'm not? Uh, yeah, you're, uh, move to, uh, you point your camera to your right, behind you, because yeah, it should be right by the beginning of the level. Yep, there oh, they are. I, I see it. Go to the foyer and check the... Oh, you can find a... Oh, you can get your hat back in the castle. Cool. Uh, I don't know about at? this one. Uh, go into the foyer and check the toad near the left of the entrance. Where's the so, foyer at? Basically, when you enter, first enter the castle. That's oh. the foyer. I did not know that. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so just go for that when, you're, when you finish this. Like, like I said, this mission's really easy. Whoop. As I fall. Don't worry, there's a health thingy. Oh, so you doing alright over there? Yeah, I'm doing alright. I'm a little tired, that's all. Alright. <laughs> Just saying, that sounds like some pretty fierce typing. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I just finished typing up to him, so... Yeah. It's all good, though. They just wanted my response, like, now instead of later, so... Oh, come on, Mario, quit hitting that! Yeah, you mean? It's -a me! Why am I here? Just to suffer. Oh, shit! Uh, oh, Ethel's in her tenth term? Jesus Christ! I don't like that. She's old. I didn't want to find that out. Well, she's... I was about to say she looks great for her age, but damn. <laughs> I mean, they all do. They all do, yeah. I wonder, do they show the terms of uh, the Ouroboros folks? Term is Vault Loop 6? Damn. Hey, it's actually legitimate ages. Guess who they're for? What was that? They're 
I was looking through like the affinity charts and I actually did find there are regular ages. But uh they're only for Nopon. Good to know. Uh, okay, surely I can find the frickin' uh, Sorry, Seriously, I can't find the Ouroboros here? Are like most of the heroes actually in like their tenth turn? Jesus, that sucks. They were only a few days away from homecoming. Give me those. Give me those affinity points. Fuck, where'd the star spawn at? It should be here. Uh. Yeah, it's up. That's stupid. Where's... It should be right there. Yeah, it's right above that. This level, I hate it. It's just a one big inconvenience. Will the backflip work and not hit anything? If I know that, I would have stayed up there. There we go. Here we go. I got it. Me star. So me stars. We're ready to finish the game. Now I'm just, just gonna... go back down to the foyer and uh yeah, go and get your hat back. Which I'm going to. I'm just taking a shortcut. Yep. Yep. So... Talk to that toad, I'm pretty sure he gives you your hat back. Um Where do they no. try try again? Um Well if I tried all these and I could still have found my hat. Okay, let me see if I can uh... God, why can't I pause the game? Let me see, is there another one? Uh uh Dude. Go back to shifting sandland and wow, what a wow, those guys are fucking liars. Um, at that night, okay, so. There's my hat. Two places to find your hat. It's, uh... I think the hat is either going to be, like, either it was obtained by Klepto or it was by that monkey in Tall Tall Mountain. So, it is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is from him. Yep. Yeah. I really don't want to go back to that fucking mountain. Snow, snowman's. Uh, let's see. Okay, so apparently, while I was trying to look, look around, I uh, I was dealing with a unique monster. Uh, let's see. Um. 
Okay, so the only other one that they say is like in Snowman's Land, there's a snowman that has the hat. The monkey would give you a hat if you try and punch him. Uh, but yeah, those are the. The only other option is if Klepto got his hat. Let me see. The cat can only be found in the stage you lost it in. Shit. So it so it has to be that one then. Why well, don't um, just go punch the monkey? Punch the monkey, yeah. Uh, wait, how did you lose that hat in the? Uh, I forgot how you lose the hat in Shifting Sand, not Shifting Sandland. Uh, in uh, Tall Tall Mountain. Was it the monkey that takes it away from you, or was it a? Uh... I think the wind blew it off, and then the monkey eventually grabbed it. Oh right, that asshole! Right. Yeah, just pick one of the missions and just grab, punch the monkey. All right, guess we're going back here. Yep. Hey, yeah, your favorite stage, clearly. Stupid hat. Don't like you anyway. Stupid hat. You make me look bad. Well, it's better than in Mario Sunshine, where losing the hat apparently makes Mario just lose health gradually and just die. That's dumb. But I wanted those little gremlins to have my hat. They look so cute in it. Too bad it cost me my life. As soon as the shy guy goes away. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh, uh. I tried punching that fucking thing, but he wouldn't get hit. Okay. What, do I need to complete the mission to follow him? No. No, just try and punch. Just try and... Let me see if there's, like, a pro tip here. Um... Yeah, it's not so straightforward. Once you're in a good position, do a punch towards him and grab him, and he'll give... Okay, so it's just... It's just get him in a nice position to punch him. Got it. You gotta make sure I get rid of that shy guy first, because he's a real yeah. nuisance. So he doesn't burn your ass. There you go. Ah, my favorite task, trying to spank the monkey. There you go. Give me my fucking hat, you loser. Alright, now just now just exit the course and save the game. Alright, we're gonna go beat this son of a bitch. Oh jeez, we've all, we've been going for three hours. I can't believe it. Spank the monkey. He has been spanked. You uh, may spank see. it once. Let's see. Uh, his Sweet and Lilligan's buff moves are scary strong. His Sweet and Lilligan's victory dance buffs attack, defense, and all are moved by 50%. Yeah, that's what really helps. Oh, Lilligan's ability is... Uh, Hustle? No, I died. That was quick. Yeah, final level! Woo! Woo! And I died. Ah. <laughs> Not going for red coins, fuck that. I just wanted my hat. 71 stars? <laughs> nee. Yeah, I don't really feel like it. I'm not feeling it. Not really feeling it. The, wait, that was a sword that, uh... That was a sword that that guy was wielding? I thought it was a gun! Uh, what is it? It's the, it's the Yumsmith class, you know, what Riku and, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. and Manana had. I didn't think that was a sword. I thought that was a gun. But Chris. yeah, that explains break. For his neutral special, he doesn't wield a gun. Oh, and he actually. Oh my god, he actually does. This class is actually kind of cool. 
<laughs> okay, game, uh... Care to explain why, uh, that's being a little annoying to get up there? Oh, wait, I think I went the wrong way. I might have. First. Okay, um, I'm glad that I have another class that actually has break, so it isn't just fucking, uh, sword Noah. fighter. Ironically, I'm using Noah with this, so it's like he didn't even leave. <laughs> oh well. You can always put on Cause... someone later. Yeah, like Senna. Actually, Senna pick equip it, damn it. Does Senna already have it? No, Senna has Guardian Commander. And I'll... So hustle plus victory dance equals a hundred percent increase to all move damage. Have they confirmed moves are actually coming back for it? Because I mean, I kind of have a feeling with Scarlet and Violet, we're going to be limited in moves again. Because I don't think they're going to allow us to basically interfere with the environment with earthquake. I think that's 95% of the reason why we didn't get certain moves in uh, Legends Arceus. Whoa! Shove. Push. What if we take Mario and push him somewhere else? That idea... Sounds Whoa. like it, uh, it would get ourselves killed. We wow. Ah, platforming. This game blows. Ain't saying anything, man. I'm just, uh, I'm just here along for the ride. I know. I know. <laughs> This game blows. Why must you make me feel pain? Oh, come on. See, <laughs> Sui and Gudra can get the overcoat ability, which protects from weather and moves like sleep powder and poison powder. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh,. Okay, the, what is the ability for uh, Hisuian uh, Arcanine? I hope it's actually like a... If it's Steam Engine, that'd be pretty sweet. I doubt it, but hey, it'd be awesome. I keep falling. And I just did again. Uh, yep, congratulations. I'm not very good at this game. I'm better at RPGs. Yeah, I mean, I... I'm not... I, yeah. The thing I would really say for, like, Mario 64, at least from what I've gathered, is that... It's a lot of adaptation for the controls that comes out of it, because uh, most of it is trying to figure out, like, how the game actually does work. Honestly, if you just... Honestly, for... But I do admit the game has aged, because it's, this game was made in 1996, for goodness sake. Mm-hmm. Yep, so... You're not... Don't go into this expecting your controls like sunshine. So... But... Wait... Yay, gravity! That was the camera. I turned the camera expecting it to move one way, but it moved the other. That the camera? I thought that was momentum. No, that was my cam- that was the camera. Oh, okay. I'm checking on Arcanine. Alright. Arcanine can have the same abilities. Justified... Eh, nah, no, none of those abilities are really that great. I was kind of hoping they would have had something new. I mean, if they get, like, some sort of move that lets them, like, 
be good against a fire and rock type. That would be great. Steam engine would have been perfect. But then again, uh, they're not coal, so yeah. Colossal or carcoal, so. Me, yeah. Ah, me pants are on fire. Me underwear is on fire. Oh, I'm, I'm on, on fire. fire. Well, I got a one up, at least. Yep. That's a I good can, sign. I can live another day. What is yep. with that? What, what is with that shocked Goomba face on the side of this here? The shocked Goomba face. You see his eyes? Oh, I think I see what you mean. Oh, the, like in the build, like that platform. Yeah. His pupils are dilated. He's just in shock. Don't mind him, he's just in shock. DM, most of the Hisuian forms have the same abilities as the originals. That's kind of lame, honestly. Given the fact that the, the Hisuian forms don't have much stopping power when it comes to a lot of their, uh, you know, typing, it kind of would have worked or made more sense if they would have been able to, if they get like, some sort of additional ability that lets them survive more easily. Then again, they were Pokemon that were kind of meant to go extinct, so... Yeah. The only one I think that kind of had a shot of living longer is, uh... Uh... Zoroark. Only because their typing is actually really, really good. Did I get any other class for you? I mean, I can make you a Thoma Urge, but that's it. Okay. I am not getting rid of Full Metal Jack War. The and so far, the only person who can use it is Ethel. Or, not Ethel. Uni. <laughs> Ethel would be great as a Full Metal Jackal. Jack, Jackal, it's a Jackal. Jackal, it's a Jackal. That name is fucking metal too. Full metal jackal. I wonder if I can beat up these guys at level these level forty guys at level thirty. Okay, game, don't screw me up this time. Yo fuck me. No it didn't! I didn't land too far down at least. God, I hate those platforms. Okay, that didn't work. Alright, well, I was nine levels under, didn't really help. Got it. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. You're gonna kill me. I get it, this is the final level, but it still sucks. I so his swing, Avalog, Lilligant, and Gudra have at least one ability. Avalog has strong jaw instead of a regular own, own temple. His swing, Lilligant has hustle, and Gudra has overcoat. Well, at least some of the abilities are different. Hey, the platform. The platforms. This stupid platform just goes against me. I swear I'm better at Stormy Ascent than this. Crash? Yeah. Wahoo? Or not Wahoo. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa who? Whoa! Who?
I made it onto the platform. Man, I love the Mario version of getting over it. <laughs> you know what? This I wow, I made that comparison and it actually does make some bit of sense. Okay, I think there's an infinite spawning life right there. Yep. So you can easily uh you can easily never get a game over here. It's organ time. So now that I'm in Agnes territory, the theme actually does change. So long, gay Bowser. Milligan's victory dance is unchanged for Scarlet Violet, then I'll mute. Then I'll use her all the way. Pepper breath. Bye. I would like to see... I would like to see where I'm throwing him, at least. Oh, come on. Don't you fucking do this! Stupid fire! There we go. Nice. We did it. We did it. I had an easier time with Bowser than the level. I know, it's funny how that works out. Yeah, because normally I'm stuck here. Wahoo! Uh, wahoo. You know, it comes with a complimentary wingsuit. be funny if you never got that in the game. Yeah. I'm sure it's possible. I mean, there's 120 stars. Yeah, and only like, I think a couple of them only involve the wing cap anyways. At least three. Yeah, it's not like you need it to like get to a section of the castle. And you ran out, Mario. You goof. Congratulations, you won. Congratulations. Could DM do a near only EV and starter run in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Well, one, I think that would. That would be partly uh, reducing what I enjoy out of Pokemon games, and two, I'm not even sure. I hope you get Eevees early on, though. Unlike in VDSP? Yeah. Post game only, my ass. Voice acting! Uh, in my Mario game? Ew. Surely we won't get it in the next game, right? Yeah, surely. Which week is sticky paint like goop? It's moving! Uh, you wanna know something that I just realized out of this whole game? Yes. We toured through this entire castle. I don't think there's a kitchen. 
<laughs> yeah, you're right. Where the fuck do you bake the cake? Where are you making these at? Oh, oh, I know. The oven is lethal lava land. Oh, oh, okay. There's a secret cast. There's a secret kitchen stage. That's where she makes the cake. Got it. Makes sense to be. All right, cool. Thanks for the raid. Hope you enjoyed your uh, time in Genshin. With with your waifus and husbandos. Breaking. Still biased. I'm waiting for mine. <laughs> It's stinky. This, the last few levels were stinky. The clean, up, the final cleanup forced you to basically do levels that you weren't up for doing. So, no, I do not like that. I found the red-headed uh, Batman, and he's voiced by Mishima. He's shit, oh, really. Oh. Said picks. Oh, 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 that character that Sean Chipwalk plays. I actually, I, I actually saw a video about uh, him purposely causing Genshin drama today. And huh? How and why? Uh, he yeah. said he, he said he would he jokingly said he would smash this uh, character that I guess some Twitter users thought looked like a lolly. And, and he actually responded to the drama on Twitter. He's like, "Congratulations, you're you're the person who this who this joke was made for." Oh my god! He baited them into falling for that joke. Yeah, that's definitely baiting them. Yep. <laughs> that's he said that he would smash Sayu. I was like, "Hey, John, how's it going?" <laughs> oh, I get it. John was part of the raid. Genshin support. Yep, that makes sense. Genshin support, indeed. Yep. Funny enough, Sayu is just short. She's not even a child. I mean, there is a term for that. It's called legal lolly. Short girls exist. Short girls do exist. I knew one in high school. I knew... S I knew several. <laughs> in most of my entire life, actually. Yep. They were swole. Who is the sassy lost child? We got cake. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for to playing my game. We finally got cake. We finally got cake. Where the fuck did you bake that cake, Peach? So, so we got cake. Oh yeah, and, and the one that Peach uh, uh, cooked us too. Yeah, that too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one was which one was the better cake? <laughs> you know what? That's the bigger question. She used Bowser's remains as an oven. Jesus, damn! That's hardcore. That's metal, man. I forgot to check what does burst do in this game. Ah, uh, nice Super Mario Galaxy Two music that isn't. In this game, for some reason. Chakra burst! Monado burst! Monado cyclone! <laughs> Malice is such a ham. He is a ham. He's a ham sandwich. He's the entire deli section. The delicatessen. <laughs> Who, who also voices characters in Thomas and Friends. Yes, because when I think of villains in a uh, in a game of, that challenges uh, how one views their own life, I think of Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Clearly. Mr. Thomas. At least you can say he wasn't typecasted for the role. <laughs> I'm trying to run a gun. I'm trying to program a gun that won't. Sh 
That won't blow up Dean and Shin in co-op. Oh, good. Please. There was a lot of explosions in that last stream. Explosions? Yep. Oh, good. It gets worse. Awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just found something. I, I, I need to send to Logan. <laughs> Oh. Uh, is he even online? No, he's not. Fuck. I see that both the uh, Logan and uh, Zach must have passed out by now. Probably. I I sent Lo Logan a screenshot from Xenoblade Three the other day, and I'm just like, and 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 the only thing I I, I sent him. I sent him one of the heroes I got, and I just posted the opening lyrics to uh, to the Shrek theme. <laughs> All Star is what it was. Oh, <laughs> because Fiona. Somebody once told me. <laughs> <laughs> He told me to use that class whenever I eventually got it, and I did. Whatever Fiona's class is supposed to be. I forget the name of it. I mean, the names of this uh, thing are a bit more obtuse, so... Because I don't know what a Therma Urge is supposed to be. Hmm... Still wanting to get the martial artist. Also, everyone stand up for the Book of Psalm. Body once told me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dean. I, I, I found something that's you right now. Okay, I'm going to progress the main story in Xenoblade 3. Damn, Xenoblade 3 got side content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was essentially the first couple of bits of Chapter 3, just because I was like, wow, look at all these side quests. Oh, I can wield dual pistols. This is already great. And I can put them on my healer. My healer has a gun. I may be a healer, but... Mm. Jared and DM, are you a master baiter too? Uh... I am I am unsure of this RPG class. In Wind Waker, I am because you sail all the time. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. you. Uh, all right. I should probably go and get some rest because I got work tomorrow, which will hopefully be a pretty smooth day at work. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it it will be a smooth day at work. Yeah, I can at least relax over the weekend just because, uh, I mean, I scheduled a three-day weekend anyway, so. That is awesome. I'm going to relax on Monday, just play Xenoblade. So, hopefully that'll work out there. Here's hoping, man. Yep. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Up <laughs> I am Zeke von Genbu, I guess. I am really feeling it, probably. Xenoblade <laughs> experience. Main quest. Whatever the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> that is so appropriate. Then there's me trying to fill out the entire map. No, no, yeah. That is an accurate interpretation of trying to fill out the entire Ether Sea in, uh, in Xenoblade <laughs> 1. Or Aerith Sea. Yep. What is even he, what what is even he doing? He's on a surfboard and he has an open umbrella in front of him. What is he hoping to accomplish? Moving because he's trying to catch the wind. <laughs> it's Mary Poppins. Yeah, he's just waiting for the wind to catch to the bottom of the umbrella to push him forward. I'm I I know surfing. I do that. I'm surfing free in the wind in the wind. <laughs> Hmm. 
That is such a fitting thing. Uh, that That's essentially what I've been doing for like the past hours. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I'm getting really tired. So I, I'm getting really hungry. Yeah, I don't blame you for that. So I'm going to hop off too. All righty. All right. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you uh, on Tuesday. Yep. See you on Tuesday or my channel, I guess, for something. I don't, I don't know. Depends what we got planned. Yep. We'll see. We'll see. Mm hmm. We will indeed yep. see. Yep. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night, Jared. Night, night.